Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Androids and Aliens. Friday night! And the feeling's right. When you watch an action movie, it's not long before you realize that character is the hero, and that character is the villain, and probably by the end of the movie, the, the, the hero is going to fight the villain, and usually the hero is going to win. Now, sometimes that movie could be a trilogy. Sometimes it could be just one long hour and a half, two hour, three hour movie if it's an epic. But you know, somewhere towards the end of the movie, there's going to be that climactic battle between good and evil. Tonight, that battle ends. <laughs> really? Over <Wait. laughs> 200 plus hours of this show. Now, you didn't know <sighs> Admiral Saravox was going to be the, the final bad guy. You didn't hear Saravox until uh, early book six, and it was only Grant that even picked up on it. <laughs> <laughs> but come hell or high water after over, I mean, over 150 episodes, but that ends up being well over 200 hours, the final battle come hell or high water, will end tonight. And the reason it's going to end tonight is because I want next week to be its own thing. I want to get all the battles out of the way and have the final episode be a true send-off for this series. How is everyone feeling about tonight, though? I have gone through, I'll start. I have gone through uh, nervous <laughs> to sick to wishing that we could have done this all in one week because I felt really in it last time we were playing and now I don't remember anything and I don't understand my notes. Thank God for David Winters. Uh, but I, uh, I, I think we, we set up uh, the makings of a real exciting, cool battle. Um, and I'm interested to see how the chips are gonna fall because characters could very well die and, and Let's be honest, uh, should. If this was a movie, a couple of you would get picked off in this fight before, uh, you know, the inevitable uh, end of this story. I don't know. And that's going to change everything that I'm thinking about for next week. I've talked enough. How is everyone feeling? Let's start with Ellie. Ellie, how are you oh, feeling God. about this battle? Well, no. oh, God. well, okay. I, um, I, so I don't know. I'm so sad about this show ending that I actually threw up today. Um, so. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, <Ellie. laughs> I, I get so much. I get overwhelmed by sadness sometimes, and uh, yeah, it so just I, comes I, up I, out of your esophagus. Yeah, it's like it's like my it's like my tiny body can't focus. Like it's like it's too much. And uh, so yeah, that was what happened today. But I think, and then I thought about it. Like, who do I want to protect? Uh, who do I like? Who do I like? But the thing is, I love everyone, and so I really went down into thinking like Dax. Uh, Frizz, uh, Kreska, uh, the the artist formerly known as Meishan, now Seyan, and <laughs> and then Qu Qu uh, Callum. And the thing is, I feel like Callum is the one, and maybe it's because I'm a mom now, and I'm like, the child needs to be protected. Uh, so that's why I'm like, so my goal as a player, not necessarily PG's goal, but me, Ellie, is to protect the child. Like, I want Callum to survive. Doesn't mean that I don't care about the others. I want all of them to survive, but I do feel like since the get go, like Dax, he was willing to sacrifice himself as the same as the same time as Koala was willing to sacrifice himself. Kreska has been, you know, it's the captain needs to go down with the ship. PG has had like sixty lifetimes. She, <laughs> she's not, she's not in it to survive this. She's more like, please kill me. <laughs> I mean, like, she's like, Someone uh, kill me. <laughs> and, yeah, please stop it, stop it. She's already dead. And uh, and then uh, so she's like, you know, she just want to bring as many people as she can with her. Um, and then, but then Friss and Seyan, I'm a little bit, I don't know about that because Friss, I feel like now he has. Uh, Hush is not is not alive anymore. So wh where can that story go? You know. So I'm like, yeah, it's a, it's a tough fight. But like for me, the focus for me as a player will be to save, try to save Callum and get him out of this, and hopefully more characters. But PG also wants to blow up the entire ship, so she doesn't care. So yeah. we'll see. I will yes. be yeah. 
I'm sure each of you have your own mindset. Some of you understand what's happening, and some of you have probably mentally made the decision like, we got to do this. We're so close right now. But Callum's an interesting one because Callum kind of got dragged into this, but also willingly went. But now it's like, uh, and also uh, you're going to have to sacrifice yourself to save <laughs> humanity. Uh, if there was an option for that not to happen, that, that would be interesting. Uh, what about the captain, Captain K? I mean, at the end of the day, you know, maybe people will stop listening. You'll be like, listen, we're all the captain now. But if they uh, really look up to you all the way to the end, how much uh, how much do you think you will have a say in how things shake out? I'm glad you asked this question, Troy. <laughs> I also want to return back to your, your action movie analogy at the top of the show there. Here we go. Because when you said <laughs> the first action movie that came to mind was... Uh, Famed action movie from the 90s, Executive Decision, starring mm. Kurt Russell and Steven Seagal. Mm -hmm. mm. And in that movie, you go in thinking that Steven Seagal is going to be the hero, right? Because it's like the height of the 90s. He had done Under Siege 2. Everyone was like, Steven Seagal, Steven Seagal. But then ends up, he dies pretty early on. Spoilers. He dies in like the first 25 minutes of the movie. And then it's Kurt Russell in nerd mode who has to end up saving the day. So... Maybe the captain, the captain was never supposed to be the captain. Yeah. I was, I was just the lowly ship's mechanic who would, I was just there to put out the fires and do a little repair here and there. But then the captain died and Kreska had to step up. Maybe Kreska yeah. will earn the respect of the crew because she's the Kurt Russell of this, of this crowd. There's still to a chance. If we were writing this as a movie, Kreska dies in this fight. Yeah. And then I couldn't disagree more. The yeah. team has to galvanize and decide how we're going to do it without someone steering the ship. No, no, no. If this were a movie, Kresko would never die because we already lost a captain. <laughs> you would die <laughs> so hard right now. Uh, <laughs> right. Really so hard. Dis you have to distinguish between your dreams of punishing me, the player, <laughs> yeah. and if this were a movie. <laughs> I do get caught up in that. Uh, Grant, what about you? You've obviously... Uh, Experiencing character death is uh, something you've now uh, played around with a couple times in this adventure. Um, so you're you're kind of you're an old hand at it. H how do you feel about uh, about this this battle and, and where this command end up? Well, I'm feeling a little conflicted. I've often been accused of being a Munchkin power gamer, and I felt like I could have done that a lot more in terms of overloading Say Yun with you know spell crystals of all sorts and types. And I wish I had some of the contingency plans available to me, such as see invisibility, purge invisibility, dispel, a lot of things that would be helpful in this battle that I currently don't have, that I think someone who is really making a character to be optimized for combat would have set up. But I'm also glad that I didn't because Seiyun was kind of found in, you know, processing. Um, just recently remade and kind of what you see is what you get. And maybe there's some armor and a rifle. So I like going in here like this, but I feel like as powerful as Seiyun has proven herself to be, uh, I feel underprepared for the actual battle. And uh, I feel uh, overall, I don't know. I've been sad too. I haven't vomited at all, but I've, uh, I've been sad <laughs> all day. <laughs> The night's young. Ellie just went to puke again. She oh, yeah. just went to throw up again. <laughs> round two. Uh, what about you, Callum? What about you, Sydney? How are you feeling about this? Uh, I don't know. I was having so many ups and downs, and I, I thought, I still think Callum is going to die. He's not in a good spot. Um, and it's funny because if this was an action movie, I was thinking, unlike Ellie, Callum should die. I mean, what is the ultimate, you know, heartbreaking ending to this team if you know this young kid who who came along because he wanted to but like kind of got wrapped up in this situation made friends he cares so much you know about Dax and he already lost Qualo and these are like the first friends he made and he's gonna beef it he's gonna absolutely eat shit and die and it's the heartbreak you know that the story deserves and then maybe somebody else makes it out alive and it's not him um yeah, you're but making a good case for it. Like you and a really cute dog die. <laughs> yes. I am the dog of this John Wick universe. Like uh, Callum <laughs> dies and everyone's like, what the fuck? Come on. What are we fighting for? 
Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know if Callum lived could be cool. I, I'm also obviously I'm pro. I'm like, yes, we can all make it out alive. But uh, it would be tragic, wouldn't it? It sure would. And now you're getting me thinking. Maybe I'll just focus fire on you. Uh, hey, I already that... cried. I already cried. I could do it again on stream. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> well, that rewire flesh may uh, take care of this for us. Uh, Joe, how are you feeling there, buddy? Uh, you know, you're pretty confident with Dax, but you also, I think, kind of understand uh, someone's going to fly this thing into the super weapon. Uh, so where, where are you? Uh, it's a, the her heroic death. Try to survive this. Yeah, encounter. <laughs> it's just hard. It's it's hard playing games with you. You're you're a terrible person to play games with <laughs> because you sort of you play and you and you think I got this. I got this. I got this. And and you're like I'm going to kill you and you're going to die and I'm going to kill you and you're going to die and I'm going to enjoy it and you're going to die and and you're just like okay then let's do this because like I I'm looking at my sheet and I'm like this is. You can't do this mechanically. You can't kill this character. It's not me mechanically possible without breaking the rules or making up the 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 encounter or whatever. And, He's not about uh, that. He's but, not about that. But your ceaseless insistence that I will die, it is starting to eat away at me a little bit. And I <laughs> and and now gotcha. this this dude, this is a big <laughs> dude <laughs> that's in front of me. And obviously the boss is still untouched, undamaged and missing in here. And I'm starting to think that I might die <laughs> <laughs> if I'm, if I'm honest, uh, I'm way down and I'm like, oh, okay, this might happen, but I'm really excited for it. I have loved playing Dax in combat. I, I really think it's really fun. Uh, I really like a lot about the soldier class with the exception of the ridiculous saving throw numbers. However, that's every class. That's not a soldier thing. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I find it really fun to be able to move and shoot and switch weapons and like all this. It's, it's a really, really good time. And it's sort of what I set out to do when I started this character. I created the character. I was like, I want to explore fun, heavy gun combat. And this is giving me the chance to do it. So I'm, uh, I'm, I will leave satisfied regardless of the outcome. Yeah, it will be interesting if you go down period slash uh, early in this fight because you are the primary damage dealer uh, and you're able to tank against this gate crasher. So yeah. if you fall, I mean, you've already taken a ton of damage. If you fall, it really leaves them at a uh, major disadvantage for both someone that can take and deal. Uh, Dr. Friss. How, where are you with this kid? Skid, you get very attached to your characters. Uh and 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 I, I think you you feel what were you gonna say, Joe? Very attached to game systems like Starfinder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be the hardest thing for you to say goodbye to. But it really is. second on that list would be Friss. How are you feeling about this combat and then sort of the overall uh end of this tale? Well, I mean, as far as this combat goes. I, I, uh, David sent along some reminders that I guess from people like in Discord and stuff that I can use some of my biohacker stuff uh, against Undead, which I didn't realize. The trade-off is that my injector pistol is way worse than my good pistol. So it's a big damage trade-off versus getting some like pretty minor like <laughs> debuffs. Uh, well, you know, I could have gotten like a better injector pistol, but like they're so expensive and like there's just so little opportunity to acquire one. I uh, just, I don't think I ever would have been able to earn one. Um, so, and yeah, we're in real rough shape. So I could, I, I envisioned him dying at the end, maybe not in this fight, but later on, but he may not make it that far. I don't really know. So, but as far as like where he is philosophically, emotionally, I don't want to spoil. This is sort of stuff that I've, kind of come up with for later that i don't want to spoil so mm -hmm. um, we'll see yeah yeah this is this this should be a real interesting episode uh save save the tears for next week everybody because there'll be plenty of time for that uh today is about staying frosty for this battle uh speaking of frosty you? it's always cold during the david winters <laughs> <laughs> good segue good segue like david <laughs> yes uh, yes sir David, uh, we make a hell of a team, buddy. Uh, I know. This is this is this is how you do it. Just a little play con on the side. 
let's me just sit back and dance, call it up. No, let's let's go with a curveball instead of another fastball, high and high and tight. Uh, how now? This is tough because I don't want to ask you in a way that's going to reveal too much to them. But how are you feeling overall about this battle? I think you would have liked to, me to go a little longer last week, but uh, I felt I saw the out and I took it when I was yeah. able to dispel the polymorph. Um, I think it's possible they all make it out of here. Um, I think that's more likely than them all dying in this room, I guess. As that's far good as, to know. As far as Ooh, outcomes go, though, Troy, I would guess that that is what you've prepped the least is the TPK of all the possible permutations mm -hmm. of people yeah. walking out of this room. So in a way, I kind of want to see you improv the full TPK next episode. Let's see him do his dance. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just you'll, dance, you dance, see dance through it. It's the fastest you'll see me sign out of an episode if you guys TPK. Uh, <laughs> I'll have a lot of work to do. Uh, rewriting next week. Um, I don't know. I'm excited. I'm trying not to think too much about uh, next week's app because uh, – there's a lot going on in my head about that. We've never done a, a true finale, and I just want to. I want it to be special for all of us, including you watching. But tonight, tonight is fight night. So let's fight night. Jump! <laughs> ding Bang. ding ding! <laughs> let's do this! Oh man! <laughs> oh guys, we didn't do a banter. We didn't do a banter. That's the A and A signature, though. But I mean, it's that was just too much fighting. We're all too that nervous. Are you kidding me? We're all like, haha, yeah, I feel fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew that was going to take a solid 15 just talking about that. That was the banter. Wasn't funny. Doesn't always have to be funny. Sometimes <laughs> it's just about what's really happening. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Ooh. Let's go to the map here. Let's look at this beautiful map. Uh, man, boss fight. Book six boss fight. Loved this use. If we can toot uh, David and my horn here. Love this use of Wall of Force here. Just, just brilliant. Uh, don't think it's going to affect too much now, other than the fact that like Friss is literally against his has his back against a wall against one of these black monks. Um, Dax over here. That little symbol on him means that he can not be affected by the fatigue aura that is coming off of Admiral Saravox, wherever they are in the room. You don't know. You assume there's some flying. You know there's some greater invisibility. Um, then you got this. This guy. Let's take another close-up look at the Gate Crasher. This uh. <laughs> this large <laughs> undead <laughs> hunk of flesh, where the armor is fused into the flesh. I have a question for you. Yeah. Is his hammer made out of an airplane engine? It really does look like a thruster, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks like a jet engine. Yeah. Let's, let's make that cannon, yeah. Like that would be just... awesome. It starts spinning. <laughs> uh, Fire's just coming out the back of it, and then uh, that's what gives it its inertia to crush you. <laughs> Don't oh, let Troy terrifying. do more damage. Don't give him ideas about the cool weapon for the enemy. <laughs> oh, man. That dude can mash, and Dax has taken the brunt of that force. The rest of you are smart to stay away. Although PG's been creeping in there. Speaking of PG, PG all also has that uh, Ghostbuster symbol on there, um, meaning that you, PG, cannot be affected by the Tigor for 24 hours. Hopefully this battle won't go that long, both in real time and in battle time. Uh, we'll Hopefully. come back to Callum. Let's go over to Seiyun. Seiyun, uh, on the other side of the room, just finished the episode with a baleful polymorph that was dispelled. Now, Grant, very wisely as we're going off the air, was like, whoa, 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 whoa. If the admiral is casting dispel magic wouldn't that dispel their invisibility and we all looked at each other and we're like what are you talking about <laughs> yes i think that would happen so uh what? what 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 i would do is obviously the admiral would not purposely dispel his, their own invisibility so um they're going to have to shape it in a way that will remove uh, the uh, the slow effect from the gate crasher will remove the baleful polymorph, but the cosmic eddy will stay in effect because were I to dispel the cosmic eddy, I would also dispel the greater invisibility, which I think is dumb. What about the wall of force? Is that gone? Yeah, I can't I see it, Troy. I can't later. see it. And that's uh, in the same Troy. area too. Is I think, can a wall of force be dispelled? Well, uh, the I, I, I should chime in though so the thing grant was initially <laughs> mentioning is with greater dispel magic you can dispel in a burst um aura of which um the 
invisibility would be included, like you said. Instead, you're going to do targeted dispel, where you use a specific uh. target, and you can dispel up to um, a spell every four caster levels. So you can just target the gate crasher and say, you know, slowed and the baleful polymorph, and bam, that's it. So nothing else will be uh, at risk. That's the one I did. That's the one I did. <laughs> Thank you, David. Uh, that's what I did. Mm-hmm. Now, say on, it says here you're invisible, but the baleful polymorph should have removed that, or was that greater invisibility? I have greater invisibility. Uh, you have greater invisibility. Okay, so that's what that little ninja symbol is. Come over to Kreska. Kreska's just uh, doing her best to captain in the far reaches of the room. Uh, sometimes you felt like you had to fight against the fatigue aura. Sometimes you feel like you didn't, so you get the sense that the Admiral is just floating back and forth above you somewhere since it is emanating from them. Um, you need to get back into the fight here so I can kill you, though. Callum... Oh, man, Callum, have a couple things on your character. You are greater invisibility, too, or regular invisibility? Uh, I was regular, I believe. Regular, okay, so that oh, will no, go Oh, no, sorry, away. greater. I it was greater. greater, okay. Yep. All right, great. Er. Uh, you're also flat-footed with a sweet little number nine there. Um, last round, uh, Admiral Saravox cast Rewire Flesh on you, which... Basically, it's something that you, it's very similar to an effect that you were doing to all of my enemies for the past couple of books, just rewiring, moving their organs around. Well, this one is totally different. It's actually rewriting your genetic code to turn you into a robot. So you've started to sound tinny and weird and you'll take 3d6 slashing damage per turn unless you make a fortitude save to half it. And that will go on for, is it 10 rounds? And one round has already (laughs) gone away, David? And that's uh, I what think the nine actually, is? well, no, I just can't put anything higher than nine. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's yeah. even higher than that. Uh, okay. And that <laughs> is where we've left our heroes. So oh, the baleful dear. polymorph gets dispelled, comes back. Whoop, Dax, you're like, finally a break. Oh, God, I'm no, back. Oh, no. Um, now, he is not hasted. He's just... Back to normal, of course. Maybe he wants to use a little swift. He put that haste back on. We'll see. Um, it is now Callum's turn. Callum, give me a fortitude save against rewire flesh. While I pile up some d6s. You will take these on your turn. And let me see it. So one round per level. And uh, that'll be That's... 13 rounds, not nine. <laughs> so you have, uh, after this, you'll have 11 rounds left. That's a 23 fortitude save. 23 oh. is very close to the 24 that you needed to save. Oh. Unfortunately, Oof. you will take 11 points of slashing damage. Oof. Okay. And you become a little more tinny. And it is your turn. Again, through the comm unit, I think uh, he's he's like, Cap- Captain Kreska, something's wrong with me. I don't feel good. Oh. And his it's like, the it's interacting with the comm unit in a weird way too. This like roboticness uh, is coming through That's... like super scratchy and like high pitched. And I think everyone's like, ay, 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 this uh, Callum's comm unit is messed up. Um, <laughs> Someone fixed Callum's comm unit. Um, Okay, I, similar to you, Troy, you took a little page out of Callum's book and you thought you could rewrite his DNA. Well, Mm. I'm taking a little page out of your book and Callum reaches into his pocket and grabs one of the spell gems and he casts Dispel Magic Greater on himself. Oh! Oh! Right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can you do that in an area of effect and get yourself and maybe a creature with invisibility cast upon them? <gasps> oh, yeah, you can. I can. I can do an area dispel. Uh, but here's my question for David. This is what I don't understand. Basically, it says greater dispel magic has a chance to dispel any curse or like it can remove afflictions even if the dispel magic can't dispel the effect. So I don't know how dispel magic interacts with rewire flesh. I don't know if that'll just like take that out or if it will 
take away what it causes, the symptoms. It's going to be a caster level check yep. either way. Um, and I don't see any reason, unless it's a non-dispellable spell, that that wouldn't work. Um, yeah, so not only would you lose the flat-footed condition, you wouldn't have to roll this fortitude save uh, every single round to take this damage. Um, so you'd want to do target self. Now, Matthew's idea is a great idea, but you run the risk of missing the area where the Admiral is and then wasting yeah, the opportunity. so here's my idea. Callum just watched everything happen. Uh, he saw that now the Bayful, Poly Bayful Polymorph didn't work. Um, and he's thinking, okay, they left up the Cosmic Eddy. And he understands spell casting. Like, he's kind of coming into his own now with it, understanding if he uses a spell gem, he'll dispel the magic. He is going to run head first with his haste yes! unit and act his swift action. Yes! He's going to run head first <laughs> towards yes! the Cosmic Eddy. Just on the outskirts of it, yeah. he sees Friss, he sees this other dude, and he's like, uh-oh, that's also not good. <laughs> uh, and he is then going to cast Dispel Magic as an area, dispelling his own, and then within a 20-foot radius burst towards the Cosmic Eddy and everything else around him. Well, All right, so but, you would dispel the, the that Cosmic, cosmic Eddy. Oh, wait, that Cosmic shoot. Eddy, you never put Was the old Cosmic Eddy back, Troy. So actually, there's yeah, a Cosmic that, Eddy right there. Yeah. Agreed. Oh, wait. I, I Where's think the, the other idea one? Is in, it was basically overlapped. Yeah, well, it was over. It overlapped other other way towards it the created west. A, it created a Venn Venn diagram. It created a Venn diagram. Uh, yeah. No, it wasn't. It no, was level. I thought it was yeah. level with the other one. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Friss was in it. Yeah, it, it uh, overlapped only by like five feet. Oh, I see. I see. Um, oh, I got you. Hmm. Yes, that's where it was. Yeah. Um, well. But hold okay. on, Sydney. I think you're on to something because it had to be. It to cast greater dispel magic itself. It would have had to be within 20 feet of that cre out of the gate crasher, so we can triangulate and it's just risky. come to the edge of this cosmic eddy and not take damage, or go in and say, "I'll take the damage to cast it. It's going to dispel it anyway." I, First, I think let's if you start. Get within, uh, sorry, go ahead. as I forgot. Sorry. Uh, start with the uh, save against the fatigue aura because you did start in the aura. Uh, oh. Is that will or fortitude, David? You remember? I don't have my. Um, I will get it for you in just a sec. Um, that is going to be fortitude. Okay, gonna give me a hundred bucks. I wouldn't. I wasn't hundred percent sure. All right, so give me <laughs> a fortitude save to see if you are fatigued, as that may change your decision. Twenty-two. 22, you're fine. Just made it. Uh, so that yes. means now you're clean for 24 hours. We'll go ahead and put that Ghostbuster sign yep. on you as well. Uh, nice. Just you gonna made it. Um, so you want to slide into the eddy. And can you move into the eddy without, uh, with ease? Or is this gonna well, slows take the move? I'm going to take damage. That, that eddy's yeah. not there anymore. It's just there for reference for where Callum might run to this time. No, the oh, eddy no. is there. The eddy the is, is there. there. I oh, accidentally dispelled oh, just, it during oh, my it. ending oh. last week. But. Apologies. But hang on. What I was saying was the eddy does, is immaterial. What we do know is that the, the the admiral was within whatever the range of greater dispel magic is of of the gate crasher. So if you right. the closer, so if you risk getting close to the gate crasher, you know you're within range of the admiral. But that does put you. It would subject you to some kind of attack of opportunity if, from the gate crasher. You know right also think there. about, uh, and and I'm not telling you one way or the other, but the ceilings are 30 feet high. So yeah. if the admiral is flying at the top of the ceiling, you can't reach them. Uh, you know but what? if they're floating lower, you have a chance. Yeah, I didn't even think about the ceilings, but I think the smart thing, and it makes sense for Callum, he's going to go behind PG. He's still invisible. Um, he's going to mm -hmm. tap PG on the back and say, I am behind you. It's Callum. I sound different now. Um, and then he's gonna yeah, cast. No. She she the remembers. Dispel. Oh, she remembers. I don't know if you yeah. heard me on my comm unit. It's not the comm unit. It's me. Well, it's, it's, <laughs> just hang in there. Hang in there. I think yeah. She last week she was like, uh, it, you know, just ride with the pain. Ride with the pain. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. Like the like a pregnancy thingy, but it doesn't work. So yeah. you know you. <laughs> You will most likely die, but just try to stick with it. <laughs> like in labor, stick stick with it and pl hope you don't because die. I don't, I don't under, I'm 15 and right. he's going to dispel magic. That's a magic. good Lamaze <laughs> technique though. It's like, you'll yeah. probably die, but just stick with this. Yeah, stick, stick with, with it. Because maybe right, you won't. To, 
Listen so to the 20 door. foot radius burst of dispel magic. This will dispel uh, everything if you make the caster level check, which will include your invisibility as well, um, as Grant pointed out uh, to me last week. So give me that caster level check. It's going to be DC 24. DC 24. Okay. <laughs> what? Wait, is it DC 21 because I'm casting it? Because that's what it says for the dispel magic, or is that different? Oh, it depends on the, I guess, what you're trying to dispel, right? Yeah. David? So yeah, you roll the DC, it, and then we'll, then we'll talk. Yeah. The DC is 11 plus the caster level of whoever casted it, so 24 for the boss. And then in your case, because you're level 12, it's going to be DC 23 to see if it dispels your magic or your invisibility. Okay. Here we go. Okay, uh, mine is plus 12, so that's going to be, oh, that's actually not that bad. That's a 11 plus 12 is 23. Oh, no! no. Amazing. Is a, what is the point of e <laughs> what is so even? Why do we do what? this? The, what you get is your invisibility is gone and nothing else. Wait, it's not, I don't get it if it hits it? All you did, you used your greater spell gem, and all you did was made yourself. Physical. I was, I was so close to stopping you to give you my bottle cap, and I, I didn't. Oh, I feel so. Why did you give say me your something? Bottle cap? I never interrupted. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. listen. Cap. It would have been rude. It's <laughs> almost, it's almost the last episode. Let's, Wait, let's just on. let her Can do I? it again. <laughs> <laughs> Can I you know, do? You make a good point. <laughs> Let's move on to round five. It's Dax's turn. Uh, go ahead and move that invisibility token from uh, oh my God. God. <laughs> space. That has got to go down in the record books as the best. I'm gonna poops die, <laughs> Sydney. I love you so much. Oh, I'm so don't, stupid. Don't despair. We can fix this. Don't despair. Callum forever. That was a Three Stooges moment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I should have fucking lied. I should have just lied. You just lied. You have yeah, the opportunity just, to lie just at any time. two. And no one yeah. would have known. Exactly. You could have added one. I'm so you were honest. One it away. It just that was too, too obvious. That yeah, I mean, that's obvious. the thing. It's, it's not that it's a bonehead move. It's that you rolled literally. It's like the natural one of the die. A natural <laughs> one would have been better. Than the natural eleven. Yeah, Agreed. it was the worst possible roll out of twenty numbers. So it's just bad luck. It's just bad luck. Yeah. I'm throwing well, this die in the ocean. It's, ra <laughs> it's ra right now. You're gonna drive to the ocean. Uh -huh. It's round five. Okay, everybody's still alive. Uh, and it's Dax's turn. Dax, you are standing next to the gate crasher. Uh, oh. For a second, he was turned into a what? What did you polymorph him to? A rat? What was it? Oh, oh no, just I got the uh, Elicor. Some, I can put some Elicor features on him, but he got smaller as he oh. turned into kind of like this Elicoth kind of weird trunk came out of his face and stuff. And then they <laughs> turned back and got big again. Swamp, 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 swamp. You know, I don't remember Dax's situation. I don't know how on top of it you were, David, but I was not at all. Uh, and I believe that he jumped off this podium and melee attacked this guy that was next to Friss and killed him. Right, and then Chris ran away. Uh, I ask because I wanted to make sure that I had a, my melee weapon out. Pretty sure that that's how it happened. Um, I also mm. think that I'm hasted. I think that I hasted when I went up to the podium, but uh, was not able to do a full attack yet, uh, and was sort of planning for the future because I have one round ticked off of haste. So you are hasted, and I remember you switching weapons. I feel like you left your ranged weapon on the throne unless I'm crazy. You think it's down here, Grant? He can switch. My weapon now switches like as a swift oh, that's action. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you meleeed this guy as well, but that actually I'm not 100 percent sure because you may have provoked and it could have yeah, I can't I, remember. I, I remember you meleeing, but now that could just be because I just heard you tell that story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd uh, say you're hasted and you meleeed him. Because I don't think it's gonna make okay. that much of a difference because uh, what are we talking about? Swift case, action for you to switch if you wanted to use yep. something else? In that case, Dax is going to see this creature just like, this weird stuff happens to it, and then it just all goes away again, and it gets small, and then it gets big again, and the whole situation is just so, so disastrous. And he's just like, uh, uh, and you see fear come into his eyes for a brief second, and he uh, is, uh, what's the matter, Eleanor? 
No, What's the matter? I'm, I'm, I'm playing with you, uh, okay. like imagining that fear is in your eyes. I'm sorry. I'm, okay. I'm living in the moment. I'm sorry. I'm acting over here. <laughs> you go ahead and continue. I'm sorry, over you're over acting here. It's sure confusing because it looked like this. You're talking. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, right. don't do it. So uh, no, okay. what he's going to do is try to create a little uh, distance, and he's going to try to help Friss, who's got a, a, a ranged weapon out. So he is going to move away, and he will provoke uh, uh, Okay. to close on this. Uh, what, what are these things called again? The crazy monks? Uh, they are called oh. Kurobozus. Kurobozu, and he's going to try to defend Dr. Friss. He's like, step back, doctor. I must go to work with this flaming uh, uh, spear of purity that I like to call the spear of fates. Okay. Another problem with breaking up battles like this and not taking great notes is I can't remember if the Gatecrasher has already used his AOO. Um, he would try. Well, based on your uh, rules, which are terrible, it is a new <laughs> round. I don't always do it that way, though. You know, I, mean? I, I usually try to make it where it comes back around to the character. But I think the last round you jumped down and attacked this guy and provoked. I don't so remember. now it comes back around to you, which means he, he would get to provoke again. So yeah. I'm going to take it. Okay. Um, that's how I remember it. Uh, how does a Natty 19 do for you? Dude, mobility useless against those kind of rolls. I mean, that is... I'm actually... This is terrible. Uh, I'm, I'm, I feel bad. This is so much damage. Uh, oh, bad roll. Uh, six, seven, 3d10, and I rolled 7 on 3d10. Uh, but that's still going to be 25 points of damage, bludgeoning. <sighs> He's going down hard I rolled 3-3-1 three, 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 on 3d10s. Oh, it's just so interesting, isn't it? I would really love <laughs> someone to do the statistics. I took mobility, and I'm pretty sure I dodged an attack one time out of 700 AOOs that came at me over the course of this campaign. <laughs> Why not just go for the Gatecrasher since you're the only one that can take it from him? You think this guy's going to kill Friss? What's that? Uh, I, I'm just, yeah, I'm just trying to defend Friss. And I, this guy, I want him to move to me uh, and use his haste circuit and not get a full attack and all that kind of stuff and just, right. you know, try to close on us. Um... I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just a bad call, but I'm just playing my character. Yeah, no, it is. I just was curious why you did it. Um, <laughs> go ahead and roll to attack the Korobozu. <laughs> uh, okay, so three attacks coming at the Korobozu. First, first stab, miss. Second stab, miss. That's oh. a five and a four. Third stab, that should do it with a 27 to hit. Against uh, Kak, yes, that is a hit. I don't even know. I think it's I think it's EAC this weapon because it just does fire damage. So that's a really oh, really really good roll, Spriss. Uh So we'll see, buddy. We'll see. Okay. Uh, so then, um, four, oh. that is forty even. Down. Forty, and that's wow. all fire, right? All fire. All right. So most of that gets through. Um, unless and you, you have an ability and you that... reduced it. Yeah, I reduce it by five. Okay, so all of it gets through because it has cold fire uh, five. Oh, excuse me, fire five. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay, great. So that'll be another five. Big hit. Big hit. You <sighs> wanted two of those to hit, not just one. Yeah, but, exactly. You know, that's that's the game we play. However, it is Dr. Friss's turn. You have come to his rescue. He's caught between a Dax and a hard place here. Um, but... Let's see what he can do, Friss. Uh, would it help? Would it be useful if he didn't have any fire resistance stacks, or does your ability just cut right through it? It cuts right through, it. right through it. Okay. So Friss is going to use his left hand instead. He's got. He does have his injector pistol, and I. I can't take a guarded step with a trick attack. We decided that. Yeah, but you can move yeah. into those spaces and not be squeezing because of your size. Um, right. But yeah. I'll just incur either way, because uh, that's awesome. So uh, <laughs> I'm just going to move. Actually, I'm, I'm just going to stay where I am. I'm just going to fire like right into his face with the injector pistol. Natural one. Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, one. no. Oh, no. Let me take oh, my no. AOO. Natural one on the AOO. So okay. that's... Uh, uh, Two good things. One good turn deserves another. We'll actually resolve mine first, as it would in the game, uh, with a fan 
Thumboni um, oh, oh, for the Korobozu, oh. and then one for Dr. Friss that may end up making Skit rage quit okay, for the here final we, episode. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the chaotic dice from Texas. Uh, Joe's going to roll. <laughs> Watching There's Joe at least read 20 these. of them named that. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> you swing so wildly that the target loses concentration for one round, flat-footed to all due to confusion. And if a second target, any PC, NPC, or creature enemy, is within reach, they are considered flat-footed only to you. And you must roll again to hit target number two's AC, dealing double damage. What? That's a fumble? <laughs> yeah, was that a fumble? Yeah, wait. Seems like it gives you an yeah, extra this is, attack this is when just you miss. So spectacular. What it is. <laughs> it's so spectacular. So now he gets a free attack on He gets a free on attack Dax. on Dax and deals double damage on Dax. This and, is and not fair flat wow. because if this was the one given to Skid, this would be awesome. But it wasn't. Right. Are you sure? I mean, this is just... Ridiculous. Are you sure so you're he, looking at the right? The, are you sure looking at the right? <laughs> this is not the, yeah, this is exactly. This is not the. So creeps. he's flat-footed, but he gets a free attack against Dax flat-footed. And if a, a, a second crit. target is within reach, I am. They are considered flat-footed only to you, and you must roll again to hit target number two's AC, dealing two times damage. No. I don't understand. But no. It's a wild <laughs> swing. It's you swing so wildly, so he misses and hits me. Okay. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, I, I disagree. All right. I think I missed <laughs> with a uh, 25. Yes, missed. Flat footed. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. So that would have been, I mean, that would have been game breaking right there. Now what's Friss's fumble? And you can't read the same one. <laughs> it would be very funny yeah. if it's like it's so weird. It's this one's called Joe. Now, oddly enough, though, it could be another Joe's going to roll in there. Chris is fumble. Chris from Logan, Utah. Chris! Uh, keep your electric eye on me, babe. Oh. You are focused on your target until the radiation from a distant stellar flare briefly confuses you. Make a will save. If you fail, you spend your next round attacking a random combatant. If you succeed, the will save you spend one round with the daze condition. One round day. Oh my god, that's horrendous. Wow. This is my worst save. <sighs> okay. You, it's better to, I think it's better to fail. Yeah. Yeah. Well, rather, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Actually, it's no different. It is better to succeed. Because either way, uh, your fail. round is taken away from you. Yeah, All right. So fail. you're dazed for one round. Okay. Oh, my God. And that is Friss's turn. Captain, can you write this ship? No. Um, <laughs> no, no, I cannot. No, 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 no. This is very bad. Um, no, but my here's my question. When did we... The DC that you quoted when Callum rolled the greater dispel magic, the DC ah. twenty four, was that to dispel the the robot thing that was happening on Callum? Yes. What was the DC for the greater the, the invisibility of the the admiral? Uh, twenty four. Is it? It doesn't. It's not affected by the level of the spell. <laughs> no, it is. Just the um, castle. But oh. I would say that it, uh, it did not dispel it. That's all you need to know. Because right, if so I give you too it. much information, you'll know whether or not it was enraged. Mm. All right. Um, but we're on it. David and I are hard on it. So it could very well have been 23. <laughs> or it could have been 24. <laughs> now, it was 24. You should do it again, and you should be standing where I'm standing. No, I, can, I only have regular dispel magic, so I can help you out, but I can't get to the Admiral. So Kreska will slide up uh, after Callum, and uh, yeah, okay. So this is going to be a ca caster level check. You know, uh, I can just tell you this, actually, Matthew, because you asked, and, and you would have this information. Greater dispel magic is a higher level than greater invisibility. Uh, so, excuse me. Uh, now, rewire flesh and greater invisibility are the same. So uh, like DC twenty four. Same regardless. level style, yeah. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to roll up, and I, I, I can, because I only have regular dispel magic, I can't do an area. I can only do a targeted dispel on one creature, object, or spell. Um, so if I knew where the Admiral was, I could do it on a square, maybe, but I do not know where the Admiral is. Um, so First, instead, give me a fortitude gonna... save against fatigue. Just okay. make it so we can stop rolling these checks. I hate to see you fatigued. I hate it. Uh, nine. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> okay. You are fatigued. What is that again, David? <laughs> fatigued? 
It's been a week. Um, it's been a minus month. one yeah, to AC attack rolls, melee, me- minus one to everything, basically. Right, okay. Yes. Okay. Melee, um, melee damage. But not caster level check, which is what I need to mm-hmm. roll to dispel this uh, terrible thing that you've done to Calum. Uh, yes. I believe I rolled the I knowledge know. check last week to determine that it would be subject to dispel magic. Did I not? I can't remember, but it is. Okay, great. All right, so I got to hit DC 24. My caster level is 12, so I got to roll a 12 or better. You got this. Yeah. Odds are against. I rolled a 12. Oh, oh. did you, Matthew? Oh, oh. I did. Or are you taking their advice and being a liar? <laughs> no, because if I were a liar, I would have said I rolled a 13 or a 14. So that way you wouldn't suspect. <laughs> Maybe you're not a good liar. Uh, true. All right, so rewire flesh has been removed from Callum. Uh, you okay. are a little messed up still because of it, but uh, oh. you will not continue to take that damage nor be flat-footed. Thank you so much, Captain. Let's find this, let's find this Admiral. <laughs> I'm gonna kick their ass. Also, maybe you should rest. Okay, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that in a space suit, it's very deadly. No, 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 hold it in. Swallow it, swallow it. I'm gonna swallow it. <laughs> swallow it. <laughs> I swallowed it. <laughs> I feel sick. <laughs> <laughs> I feel sick, Captain. Uh, Can we now... pull over? I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> It is the one remaining Korobozu's turn. And I'm going to go ahead and do four attacks. Two on Dax, two on Dr. Friss. Now, who I start with will be important because I have not used my... Oh, no. Yes, I have not used my Sage's Bane yet, which is bad news. So one, two, three, Dax, four, five, six, Friss. Ellie, go ahead and give me a d6 roll there. <laughs> One, two, Wait, three, what, So you get four attacks, and are they penalized? Uh, they're basically, his. he has multi-attack, so they are penalized. Um, but it's but he doesn't different. take as much of a penalty. Yeah. Six. Six. That's Friss. I'm so sorry, we'll start Friss. with uh, Friss. Okay. Maybe I'll miss. Ellie, First, come on. Strike. <laughs> My th- Is it 20? <laughs> That's a miss, okay. Against Cac. Second against Friss is a 26 against Cac. That's a miss. All right, Ooh. now we're coming at Dax with a 29. Miss. And then final attack, uh, a, a 28. So miss. Uh, Holy four. shit. Wow. This is just like, like working the wooden dummy. And uh, four misses. Big, big opportunity there. Uh and now it is the Gatecrasher's turn. Uh-oh. Gatecrasher was momentarily shrunk and shriveled into a little version of itself with Elikoth features, but now he's back and he's angry. What is his reach again, David? That's going to be a 10-foot reach. 10-foot, John? Like you don't and, know. <laughs> well, remember, reach uh, as far as threatened squares uh, generally works differently where it's not, you can do the double diagonal on the reach. So you're saying yeah. PG is in reach? In range He's in melee range. Yep. What? Oh, I didn't know you could shit. do the double diagonal for uh What? Well, because other, otherwise there's a blind spot where you can always move in diagonally to someone and basically ignore one square of reach. Otherwise you'd always approach people from diagonals. Uh, I see could, what you're saying. Yeah. Mm. Ah. Okay. All right. Okay. Then uh, uh, I'm cool. going to... Like I'm going to take two attacks then. First one is going to be with the hammer on PG. Uh, Minus six for this ability known as Juggernaut of Destruction. Allows me to swing with the hammer and shoot off my gun. But the hammer is coming at PG. And that is going to be a uh, 32 minus six is a 26 against... Cack. Yeah, that's a hit. Fuck. Oh. Oof. Oh, that's rough. Oof. That's gonna be rough. Let me get my D10s out again. I don't know why I, I put think, them away. I think PG is turning around at this point, seeing Callum uh, going away from invisibility oh. and she's just taking it in her back, trying to, oh. like, staring at C- 
Callum at the same time and like just facing this pain. Whereas oh. Joe got a three three one on the three D tens, PG got a ten seven eight. Oh man! So that is going to be uh, uh, fifteen twenty five twenty five. Say forty three points of bludgeoning oh, damage. Oh God! Oh no! Ow! And then the gate crasher will fire off uh, his Aurora shock caster uh, at the intersection right next to Callum, which would affect Kreska, Callum, and PG. Hits on everything except a natural one. Just trying to hit that intersection. Natty eight. Everybody Ooh. roll a reflex save. DC 20. <sighs> Everyone? Uh, Kreska, Callum, and PG. All right. Uh, so just boom. 30. <laughs> 30? 30 on reflex, yeah. 25 oh. for Kreska. Callum. 25 for Callum. All right. Half damage, which is good since it's 2d12 plus 10. Oh. And I rolled uh, 20 points of damage. So you'll all take 10 points of damage unless you have an ability like evasion that allows you to avoid uh, damage on a successful reflex save. That is the gate crasher's turn. Grenade! And now <laughs> it is PG's turn. Oh, um, uh, Dex, how are you holding up? Uh, I want to know, like, how are you far, far down on the stamina? Like, are you about to die? Uh, I am very, I'm at the end of my stamina, but I have all my hit points. Um, okay. So, uh, PG will instead then focus her attention on Friss, knowing that he took a hard hit and got dazed. And she says, Dr. Friss, it's not over till it's over. And you then ignore your dazed condition uh, while using oh, awesome. the in- envoy in presentation. However, wow. uh, Amazing. don't quit. Amazing. However, I have to re- uh, use one resolve point, and I've been burning through my resolve. So why keep I mean, But it's the end of the universe. Like, it's the it's end, like, it's, literal end of the universe. You can't use like, them with you. Exactly, another casino reference. But you don't save your twenty buck dollar bills like when you're at the crab's table. Crab's table. Yes. I really <laughs> didn't just like Kenny say. Rogers says in That's that right. song. <laughs> uh, um, all right, so, so you remove the day's condition and you burn another yes. resolve. Just for our listening audience, how many resolve does that put you at? Seven left. Ow, oh, you live forever. Okay. Um, and what are then, we talking about a, here? <laughs> yeah, I have. A, I I put extra resolve because I knew that I was going to burn it a lot. You're good. Uh, and and then she's going to s- turn to Callum and say, uh, similar to God of War that I've been playing a lot lately, and be like, boy, you're not ready. And <laughs> she will try to motion Callum to get the fuck out of there, and then I will run around the corner, getting away from this monster man. And uh, since I have haste, I'm gonna move all the way down to uh, to Meishan. Uh, sorry, Seyon. Oof. One, okay. two, three. You flip around this little uh, holographic display showing yes. the ships of the Armada, the Stellar Degenerator, the, the controller moons, all in these blue holograms. You flip around there, leaving Callum alone to face no, the no. Gate Crasher. Well, yeah, but come with me, Callum. <laughs> That's um, what I saw. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm still there. <laughs> it is Seiyun's turn. Callum, this way. <laughs> it is Seiyun's turn. Seiyun reaches deep towards the ground and rises her hands up as she puts a ring of fire around the great gate crasher and says, make a decision, forcing you to take 46 worth of fire immediately. It's opaque. You can't see through it unless you, I think maybe true seeing can see through it, but you will immediately take 13 points of fire damage. Nice. Um, Is it? Uh, how, how? What's the radius on it? It's bigger than that. Bigger. Keep on going. Keep Just on going. Me. Yeah, but about there. I, it's it's weird to center though on this map. I understand. No, no, I can do it. Is okay. it like that? Yep. Just like that. That looks awesome. All right. Cool. So <laughs> it takes four d six damage right now, and what does that equate to? Uh, I just told you six, uh, 13 Sorry. points of damage. No, no, no. 13. I know. I, I just forgot what it was. So I'm just trying to remember myself. I wasn't trying to make you feel bad. All right, 13 ah. points of damage, and it is stuck inside of and a ring of fire. Seiyun will sure. also, uh, for free, spend a resolve point and tap something into her uh, spell cache, which will maintain the concentration on this spell for free for its maximum duration. 
Awesome. How oh. high is the uh, 20 wildfire? feet high. 20 feet high, okay. Great. Um, that is very, very cool. So you have now caged him in. So he basically can fire from range uh, through the fire when, and still take that 4d6 every turn or walk through the fire. And well, he take, can't necessarily see through the fire. It's opaque. It's opaque. Yeah. Is it concealment or is it total concealment? Total, you don't have line of sight on anybody. Okay, because he has an ability that ignores concealment. Um, that's why I was curious what type of concealment it is. It's just like seeing through a brick wall. If you can't, if, if you can't see through <laughs> solid objects, he can't see anything. Like okay, it's all right. If it's like that, then does yeah. your concealment allow you to see have, allow X-ray vision to your creature? <laughs> okay, but you said it's twenty feet. Twenty, 20 feet, feet high. High. perfect. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, this is very interesting, man. This just feels epic. It just feels it does. epic. It it's does. fucking epic. All right, let's let's have some fun uh, here. Uh, that that damage, by the way, was assuming the creature was undead. Right, right, and and he is. Okay, great. Um. <sighs> okay. Let's get saucy here. Uh. I'm thinking something. I just sent it to David. Now I want to decide <laughs> oh, where I want to no. do it. Where Amanda. are you guys chatting? What program are you I, using? And what channel it. is it? Uh, it's a private program. <laughs> uh, basically, I can do something to... Well, I can't see Seiyan. So I'm going to just... Although that was an offensive... Oh, you're using greater invisibility. doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. Kreska and Callum or Dax and Friss. I'm going to do Kreska and Callum because I don't want to hurt my monster. From uh, above, Kreska and Callum, you feel uh, mm-hmm. something land at your feet oh. and explode. Uh, oh, I'm doing a first. I got to do a ranged attack. Natty 17. Uh, give me a reflex save against 96 fire damage. Oh. Natty 18. There Ooh, you go, Kreska. 26. Totes. 26. Yep. Okay, what about our good friend Callum? 24, Natty 14. Nice. 24, you're both all right. We'll take half damage, which will be 14 points of fire damage each. Chip, chip, chipping away. That could have been 28 Mm. points of damage. Um, So, sorry, did you say 14? I I did. Thank you. You're very welcome. Uh, Okay. All right, I'm very happy with... Oh, this is happening. It is Callum, sir. <laughs> Callum, your flesh is no longer rewired. Uh, you know, you ever, like, as a GM, you're, you feel like you're running a clean game? Does that make sense to you, that term? Like, you're like, all right, I'm, I'm, pl- I'm doing it by the rules. I don't feel too overwhelmed. That's where I'm at right now. I feel like I'm running a clean game. <laughs> you, you wouldn't understand. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't understand. Callum, what are you thinking here? Your flesh is feeling good, except for that burn. Callum uh, feels the singe against his skin. He's like standing there and this explosion happens directly next to him and Kreska, just like immediately next to them. And his suit, you know, takes a lot of the damage and you just, he like holds himself steady against it. And then he grits his teeth, looking up to wherever the fucking sergeant is. And he's just like, you can play it that game. And he takes out the battery from his Thunderstrike pistol, which he never uses because it deafens people, which is useless against the undead. Takes the battery out and casts Explosive Blast on it and then throws it at the Ring of Fire at the Gatekeeper. Oh, beautiful. And now you make a reflex save for 9d6. You just did the same exact spell that was done on you. Yeah, Uh, and then he goes, yeah, I just did the same exact spell. Now here's the thing. He screams it up at the sky. We just talked about how you can't see through the Ring of Fire because I can't uh, arc it like in. arc it like a uh, skyhook, baby. It's, it yeah, doesn't he's matter. Either, it can go right I mean, through the fire. It, it's AOE. It can, yeah, he's just yeah. aiming to hit the fire, and then it will explode within hit range. Hit a square though. near there. All right, uh, yeah. make a roll range touch attack against uh, AC five or ranged attack against AC. Just, just don't roll a natural one. Let's see, natural sixteen. Boom. Oh, double Give me damage. That. 96 while I roll a reflex save. Uh, okay. Let me tell you, I roll a natty 19, so I made the reflex oh. save. Oh. Uh, okay. But that's still going to be some good damage. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> that would be 32 points of damage halved. Uh, is 16. 
A sweet 16. The birthday Callum will never see if he dies. <laughs> <laughs> we'll throw you a party uh, in the afterlife. <laughs> All right. Hell of a round. Kind of a, oh, a, then, a little... T- good. And then I'm going to move. I'm moving. <laughs> yeah. I'm moving uh, away. Well, here's one good thing I can tell you. Oh, you already saved against the fatigue, so don't worry about it. Yeah. Okay. Let's start top of round six. It's Dax's turn. Dax, you came over there and just big old mess. Uh, yeah, just just a mess. Um, all right. Well, this guy he looks back and he just sees <laughs> this flames surrounding the dude, and he's just like, "Say yun, yes." Yeah. And then he turns back, <laughs> just jamming fire into this thing's face, and this weird <laughs> monk is like dodgy. Dodgy, dodgy. Let's see if I can uh, hit him. Uh, 23 against EAC. 23 against e- EAC against the Korobozu is exactly a hit. Oh, oh yes. Nice. Well, now I know what to roll on the D20. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is 37 points of damage. 37 points of damage. Oof. Okay. Second attack. Come Got on. This epic ancient weapon. Got One him. of Sarah Vox's treasures, trophies. Got him. That's a twenty-seven. Nice. Uh, so seconds. I mean, three eights on five d eight. Oh, These, I'm rolling rocks right now. Ten. Sorry. Uh, Forty-six points of damage Ooh. on the second. You still have another attack. Yeah. You won't be needing that attack. Oh. Akurabozu. Oh, yes. beautiful. All Dark that is left you. is the Gate Crasher and Admiral Saravox. Okay. We'll see after um, this break. Oh. oh. Now you can say what you wanted to say, Joe. <laughs> just want to ask. Gone. Bye, just Grant. want to ask a few questions. Uh, Cosmic Eddy, uh, it is compl- It's just difficult terrain. Uh, yeah, I think you move half speed, Matthew. You're a, you're the big cosmic editor. Okay, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, how about this? Cool, right? Let's or talk. David, about... you can step in here. Cosmic Eddie, yeah. what's it gonna, if he wants to walk through it, what's the deal? Well, so the the clause that's problematic is if you're not in the spell area where it's first cast and then you move into it, you're subject to the damage and other effects described above. So that's kind of that 46 bludgeoning. That's also uh, being knocked prone and being uh, reduced to half speed if you fail the reflex save. So um, you're going sus- to you're going to be uh, susceptible. Half speed. You just don't yeah. you just don't fall down. And yeah. what is the duration? Uh, twelve rounds. Twelve rounds. All right. Um, this just just fouling up his situation here, and I think we confirmed this before, David. Right? Uh, if you have a haste circuit, uh, you can move and do a full attack, but you cannot yes. do a move action, move equivalent action in a full attack. Your move action has to be yes. movement. Right? It's move up to your uh, your new hasted speed, either before, during, or after a full attack action. God, uh, does this fire? Does this fire give off any damage? Um, not, not on the outside. It's on the only, outside? Only right. on the then inside. He'll just, for the time being, he'll just move up to the fire. So he moves up right up next to it and has the spear out and is just like waiting for this thing to come. Uh, and ideally, he could block off his movement, you know? Damn it, If yeah. he tries to move this way, he doesn't know Dax is there. Okay. All righty. It is Dr. Friss's turn. Dr. Friss, Dax came in, helped you finish that guy off. Now, what do you want to do? Yeah, it's actually the, the, the fumble kind of made sense, actually, because with the new the eyes of Rayon, maybe it's like there was like some kind of like stellar explosion in the view screen or the window. <laughs> it's just like, just like blinded him for a second. PG, yeah, like, awesome. get in the game. And it's like he reels back and he's fine. Unfortunately, there's really, with him, the gate crasher being obscured by flames, there really isn't much he can do. So I, I guess I'm just gonna hold, uh, okay. unless yeah, until I can see something I can do. Yeah, that's not a bad Ooh. idea. Delay, uh, you, rather than just burn a turn, you might be able to be useful later um, if things change. Let's go on to Captain K then. Damn it, Joe! <laughs> <laughs> what? What did I do? I had such a good. I had such a good. I had, I had a plan. All right, let's see if wow. I can still. I really don't know. There's literally. 
if you look at the map, there is nowhere else to move. I know. I was just hoping you would hold for a second and let me do my thing. Um, you could just I say th that. You are the captain. You'd be like, right. oh. <laughs> I think I can do it. I just don't know that it will have the same... It will yeah, I will say fine. you don't have to roll on fatigue right now, Kreska, so that means Saravox has moved. All right. Well, <laughs> all right. I'll still do... Can I do it from this... I'll do it from this square that I've, I'm pinging on the map. All right, see so that right, square right, right there? Right to the north of the gate crasher? Yes. So, okay. Uh, that should leave out everybody. No one else will be affected by this. Um, but at that moment, uh, Kreska creates a gravity well in that spot. <sighs> Um, and not just uh, not at ground level, about 10 feet up in the air is gonna the way, the way I'm going to try to, roll, to, to play this, if I'm allowed to do that, because the thing <laughs> is that tall. Uh -huh. um, I'm going to alter the gravity in the area, making a central point of high gravity that pulls creatures toward it. Each creature in the area when the spell takes effect is knocked prone unless it succeeds at a reflex saving throw. Any creature that starts its turn in this area must succeed at a reflex save or be drawn 15 feet closer to the center of the area. Ooh. Love it. The movement provokes attacks of opportunities. Creatures adjacent to the spell's origin point take a minus two penalty to the save to avoid being pulled. That is you. All right. What is the uh, area of effect for this? 20 foot radius. 20 foot. So Dax is just outside of it uh, yes. at 25 feet, and you're at 35. Uh, so the the body there uh, that of the dead Kurobozu as well. Uh, okay. So reflex save for the gate crasher. Yep. All right, you got a pretty good DC. Let's see. And you, uh, a, and you got a minus two here. A minus two to this save? Yeah, because you're adjacent to the origin of the, uh, of the gravity well. Got you. All right. Here we go. Natural two. <gasps> yes! yes! Amazing. Okay. Uh, you are knocked prone. Knocked prone. Okay. Yes. And I believe that does not draw you in yet. It only, it only takes effect once you start your turn. Right, David? Uh, yes. Starts to turn in the area. Must succeed. Uh, it gets another reflex saving throw. It you'll get another like, save, and if you fail that save, you'll be drawn into the fire. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. That is incredible. So he's prone, which means he'll have to stand up to even do anything. Uh, and uh, on his turn, he'll have to roll to see if he gets sucked in before he can even try to stand up? Yep. Okay. I've uh, put a little circle on there to denote it. Uh, well, I guess it would be uh, you said it's 20 feet wide? Yeah, it's it's a 20-foot radius, so it's 40 feet diameter. Right, okay. And Dax isn't in it, so... All right, interesting. Uh, that's, that's not where it is, but... I'll, yeah, let's... that's not where it is, but we all, we all understand where it is, so I'm just going to put the focal point back where it was. Um, okay, great. But and then Kreska is going to move back uh, towards the northwest corner of the room and get on comm and say... We have to find a way to expose the Admiral's invisibility. Any suggestions? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I would, tried. <laughs> I I tried. I want to just point out to the group, I tried. I, I actually did mess it up real bad, though. So. You did try. <laughs> <laughs> you tried. So you it's a valiant effort, good. Callum. I goofed it. Glitter dust? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Check your gear. Does anybody have like, Skid has fairy an excellent fire? point. Look at your gear. I don't have any gear on me. I've been wanting to like pull out some chalk or something this whole time, and I don't have anything. Yeah, glitter dust. Yeah. Oh wait. I was thinking like perhaps we could like uh, offend them somehow. You know, I'm thinking PG could whip out some some I don't know taunt mechanisms to, but I <laughs> wouldn't know. I have a pretty high bluff for intimidate, but. Uh, be like, I slept with your mom. Ha ha. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't think uh, that's gonna work. If you don't find that ability on your sheet, um, there's also <laughs> there's also um, potentially like w weird things I always forget about are like uh, armor infusions and augmentations. We've all taken so many weird things over the course of this wild journey. You might have something you, you don't see right away because it's buried in the sheet sometimes. Yeah. I can uh, right. animals. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I have a um, hollow grenade. Maybe we can trick them with illusory grenades. I mean, I can create a diversion. Uh, let's see well, if, you guys if don't I have can... a ton of time to think about it, so use your oh. turns mm -hmm. to think about what how you can contribute at all to this problem. Oh, uh, shit. I've, oh, I've, shit. 
I've gone ahead. I think Matthew just figured it out. Something uh, yep. he maybe could have done. <laughs> Only took you six rounds of the final combat. Um, but we'll come back to you in a round. Uh, in the meantime, I've put Wait, the say, radius on there. There's a spell gem on my belt. There's a spell gem on my belt. <laughs> it might be marked with the words. Why don't you just grab it, Captain? <laughs> <laughs> Take it off my belt. Take it off my belt. The action economy is such that I can't hand it. <laughs> no more actions. <laughs> All right, I put the uh, I've put the radius on there. Uh, obviously, you know, it's I don't know if this targets a intersection or space, but it doesn't include Dax because uh, that's a twenty foot radius on that thing because you're putting it above him, basically. Is that what you're saying? Or it targets yeah, an intersection and then does not include Dax? Dax is twenty five feet away from the square. All right. Yeah, but like if it's on that square, Dax is in the range. That, that, that's not true because this it's not a circle in the rules of the game. It goes out 20 feet, then it comes in a box and oh, goes down, the and then comes in a box, and then box. goes down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I think Dax is right in between two of those curves. Yep, I know exactly what you're talking about. I don't want to look that thing, that's that marker up right now, but the corners of the circle yeah. are ignored. Yeah. yeah. It's like a Tetris, the Tetris thing that comes down. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Doo, 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 doo. Great. So that's more for uh, a general area. And now it is the Gate Crasher's turn. So you're telling me. You're telling me. You're telling he's got to roll another <laughs> reflex save. You're telling me. Add a yes. minus two. And if add I fail, two. I get sucked into the fire. Yeah. <laughs> another natural two. Oh, oh my oh, God. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. It's all working. <laughs> so you God. get pulled. Basically, you get pulled. Just, yeah, that far, because that's where the yeah. center of it is. So you're okay. in the, you take some, uh, I imagine you take some fire damage from that. Well, here's the question. At the beginning of his round, does he take 4d6, Grant? No, he doesn't take that damage until my turn. Okay. But, but as soon as he comes into contact with the wall, he is going to yes. take, get ready for it, 10d6 worth of damage. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Amazing. <laughs> this is so epic. Amazing. Which will be thanks to Google's die roller rolling rocks. 34 <laughs> points of damage. 34 Pretty well, a little bit better than damage. You can smell that. Well, I guess you can't smell. I don't know what the hell it works. But if you could smell it, it would stink. <laughs> Burnt on You can smell it over flesh. your comm unit. <laughs> you smell it over, set your comm units for smell of vision. All right, so he starts burning. He then, move action, stands up. Standard action. He activates his force pack, flies out of the fire, and lands. Uh, he's also in the cosmic eddy, technically, yeah. when he mo- when he got pulled in there. Well, yeah. So this was kind of a perfect spell. Well, David, I think what do you think? I think he's also at that corner that's ignored. Exactly. In the, in the cosmic eddy. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, the same kind of twenty. Uh, yeah, foot. Cosmic eddy is also twenty. Uh, yeah. All right. So. Yeah, my only option here is to fly and land right between Friss and Dax. Ah, In the force wall? Can't. Can't go there. Oh, because of the force wall. Mm, Uh, uh, It splits him in half as he lands. She (laughs) dies instantly. Apply the condition hoisted by your own petard. (laughs) (laughs) Um, One square. So then he is going to fly and land right next to Callum. Okay. No! Oh, Run no. square north, we said. We were just joking about the wall. You've made your uh, bed. You shall now lie in it. It is PG's turn. Oh, man. PG, okay. PG, th- fuck. Um, I was, okay, PG, who ran away the other way, is now like, oh, okay, we're going back then. And so she runs back, stands next to... Oh, that's going to provoke. But... Don't I'm, take it. Don't. Don't take it. Okay, uh, she's gonna stand uh, diagonally from Callum uh, to the north of Callum, and then... That would still provoke uh, where you're standing there just because of its 20-foot uh, reach. Or 10-foot reach, right? Ten, yeah. That's 10-foot reach. <laughs> it's like 20-foot oh, reach. Oh, I'm sorry, I was thinking of something else. Uh, too many games. Oh. You're okay, PG, where you were, sorry. Yeah. Go, go forward one. Uh, sorry, no, 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 okay. no, no. Forward one is 10 feet. Yeah, Five. but moving yeah. from 15 to 10, you're fine. Does fine. not provoke. Oh yeah, but I was yeah. gonna say if she's doing a ranged attack, that's what you don't want to do from I'm here. I'm not. I'm not doing a ranged attack. I'm doing. Okay. Uh, I'm doing my Arcanicus gland because I recharge <laughs> it by burning another resolve. <laughs> uh, <So>. However, <laughs> however, uh, it's a cone. And Isn't that a ranged I, attack? No. 
Well, yeah, I guess it's a ranged attack, but it's not like a ranged, uh, ranged attack. Just I stay back like one so you won't provoke. Don't take the yeah, damage I won't. when you yeah, can hit yeah. it from behind. And if it's a cone, you can aim the cone at the wall in him so you don't exactly. get uh, That's exactly right, what so I Alright, so roll to hit. Yeah, uh, it's a reflex uh, for half damage. Oh, just a straight uh, up reflex, okay. Yeah, yeah. so uh, here he comes. Uh, 42 points of damage oh, against wow. the DC, DC 21. 42. DC 21. John, uh, fail. I rolled a natural five. Awesome. 40, oh. 42 points of damage, and I burn Ooh. another resolve point to get it recharged for next round. Oh, and then man. I'm going to tell all my all my friends, like, get back! <laughs> and then as acid is just th- coming out of her, like, weird ass <laughs> oh, old woman's God. body. <laughs> yeah, all those she, must, zombie she must be sad about something. <laughs> all, the, all the zombie bodies that were on the console start melting. Uh, they're detached oh. from the uh, whatever was feeding into their brains. Um, David, oh is the gate crasher immune to acid? Uh, and unfortunately for you, n- no. Yes. It wasn't last week. Then Pete, the reason I week. ask is that is enough damage <laughs> to kill the gate crasher. Yeah, yes! Yes! Awesome. Yes! Oh my god. Yay! MVPG! 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 It is now just the team versus the Admiral for oh. all the Oh my marbles. god. <laughs> He's so done. Oh my god. In the <laughs> Valley. It is Seiyun's turn. Uh, Seiyun will, for no action at all, tell her uh, magic cash to stop concentration on that wall and it dissipates, allowing Dax to move through. As they would Beautiful. like. And as soon as it disappears, May Sh- Seiyun reaches out and casts Flight at a distance on Dax. Nice. <gasps> what? Oh, sweet. Whoa, flight so, on Dax. Amazing. Go get awesome. them. Go get them, Dax. If you're just listening to this, Seiyun is 65 feet away from Dax. And I'll double check him. through the hologram. Uh, I'm sure that you have the range on that, but check. Uh, and you cast flight. It's not touch. No, it, with at third level, it is not touch. It starts being 25 feet. No, well, it's actually at close range. 25 feet plus 5 feet every two levels. So what are we now? 12. So that's plus 30. 55 feet away. So oh, if I so need to, I'll move, within I'll move 10 feet towards him. That's well, okay, Ellie has just pointed out on our chat, too, that Dax does have a jetpack. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know why grant. you have to make Grant feel bad. I'm so, that's what I, that's I can why make I someone else fly. Chat. I would know <laughs> operationally. No, it's, it's worth pointing out from Ellie. It doesn't make me feel bad. Uh, operationally, say Young would know what people's capabilities are. So, uh, Kreska, that, do you that's, also that's have a jetpack? That, that's true, but... Uh, it's way worse than flight. Way worse. Oh. Like, yeah. Then you can apply flight level third on yourself. Nice. Oh, uh, nice. Right, right? I mean, you can use this for cruising flight at a usage of only one charge per minute. I don't know what that means, but all I keep seeing is you are flat-footed and off target while doing so. I would imagine it's hard to... Yeah, fight you, in you the can, air. You can fly at a speed of 60 feet with average maneuverability with flight at the level I cast it on you. It takes no more concentration than walking, so the target can attack or cast spells normally. The target can charge but not run, and it can't carry off more weight than its normal bulk limit. Mm. Uh, and then you get a bonus acrobatics checks to fly equal uh, plus six. Is that better than your jetpack? <sighs> I think so, Is- yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I no. haven't used the jetpack yet, but I th- it says changing from cruising flight to normal flight is yeah. a standard action. I don't know what cruising uh, flight means. So cruising flight basically means you can stay in the same place. Technically, it's yeah. just like in Pathfinder where you have to, uh, depending on how good your flight ability is, you have to move. You can only turn so much, etc. We tend to hear not play it totally by the books, by the books where the cruising matters. So, so by cruising, it's, it means hover? Yeah, basically. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, flight would be better. I have to keep moving, but I just have more movement, more yeah. control. Yeah. I, I like the idea of Seiyun giving you the ability to go toe-to-toe with this admiral and his bad ass with his yeah. own yeah. favorite weapon he kept yeah. in a cage outside. It's amazing. I love, I love it. it. With I love his it. own collectible. He thought this was an artifact, <laughs> and it's going to be the source of his demise. All right, I so, Seiyun, move yourself back 10 feet and... Uh, Cast flight on Daxi, Daxi Poo. Well, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll move towards him. Fifty. Yeah, feet you need to be fifty-five feet away, right? 
Yep. So I'm One moving. more space. Okay. Perfect. Uh, all right. So you move right up to the edge of that uh, holographic box, just to the south of it, and cast fly at a distance on Dax. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get stinky. Um, <clears throat> all right. <laughs> Don't need that stat box anymore. Don't need that stat box anymore. This one I'll keep. Uh, okay. Uh, a couple shots rain down from the ceiling. First one is at Dr. Friss. Ooh, that is going to be a 28 Friss. Uh, against... Against... Oh, either way, that hits, that hits. Okay, that was against uh, EAC. Yeah. So Friss, a sh- uh, f- uh, uh, some sort of pistol shoots down at you from the sky, uh, and you take uh, 23 points of electricity uh, damage. Okay. And then uh, a shot comes down at Seiyun. Uh, even though you are invisible, Admiral Saravox can see you. Mm. Uh, and misses you uh, with nice. a boom, lightning crashes off the wall uh, behind you. Lightning crashes and a lightning <laughs> crashes. All right. <laughs> it is Callum's turn. Okay. Callum is going to uh, enact his force field, his gray force field, which I fucking forgot he had, so thanks for reminding <laughs> us to look through all our gear. So, psh- Force field enacted, which also has fast healing. It's going to rock. I'm never going to die. And then he's going to check the body of the gate crasher to see if there's any cards or like keys or weird finger bone USB drives or anything on him. Spell gems of sea invisibility. Spell (laughs) gems of how to defeat. Yeah. A small small moleskin notebook that says how to defeat my boss who I totally hate. (laughs) Uh, Uh, I mean, he's got... He's got this really crazy armor uh, that is just uh, embedded in him. Uh, he's got this, the hammer, the shock caster, a uh, bunch of batteries. But yeah, nothing of import beyond that. All right. Callum drags the hammer towards PG's feet as he backs up. Uh, and he goes, I don't know if you can use this. Uh, and he just keeps backing up uh, behind Kreska at the corner of the hologram wall room thing. Okay. So Callum backs up. To be safe. Uh, Top of round seven, it is Dax's turn. (sighs) Uh, Perception check for where the shots came from? Flying Dax flash. Uh, Yeah, I can allow that, I believe. Uh, It's not going to matter. It's a failure with a 17, I would imagine. Yeah, no, it just, it it all happened so quickly. It all happened so quickly. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure what to do here. Uh, delay? All right. uh, hey, he will... No, he's definitely not going to delay. He may... I'm just wondering if I should draw attention to myself yet or prepare. I'm going to prepare this round. I'm just going to prepare to okay. see what we come up with to dispel his invisibility. So I'm going to do a move action, and I'm going to... Uh keep fighting for a move action which Eleanor is familiar with um, mm-hmm. I will spend one resolve to gain 3d6 plus 12 stamina <sighs> strengthens himself for the coming uh, final fight and then I will use another move action to engage my um, uh, adaptive fighting and I will take the nimble moves feat which will allow me to ignore 20 feet of difficult terrain every round. Uh, so just in case my flight needs to take me in or anywhere near those cosmic eddies, I can be unaffected by it for 20 feet of it. I can ignore it. Nice. So he's just going to prep. Okay. Uh, Dr. Friss. Friss, again, really isn't much he can do. Is there... So, is there any way that the eyes of Rayon, that they would allow me to see, like, infrared light being emitted from... Well, I guess he's undead anyway. Yeah, he's just gonna wait. 
Yeah, no, that's the best move here. Um, especially after we see what uh, Kreska does. Kreska, mm -hmm. Matthew, you had a, a moment of realization of something on your character sheet. Yeah, you know those times when you're like, you know what, this would be a good utility item to have. Uh huh. So yeah, I'm gonna, Kreska is gonna is gonna uh, pull out the spell gem of see invisibility, crush it, and release the spell. <laughs> oh god! Oh, my and Kreska god. can now see where Admiral Sarabox is. <laughs> Damn it, Matthew! Awesome. Do you Amazing. think that uh, Troy and David have been talking about this all <laughs> week? Just just text each other. <laughs> Remember how dumb for Matthew weeks. is for three weeks. I hope yeah. they have been because uh, <laughs> it was really dumb. Grant all always right. says this. Grant is always like, check your sheets, check your sheets. I even brought it up in the intro, like, I wish I had a yep. spell gem of sea invisibility, and like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> and and you know what I, well, and you know what I sent? When, when Grant said that, Matthew, you were looking at your computer, I texted Troy, and I'm like, oh shit, he sees it on his sheet. Like, Grant saying that in the intro just provoked him to do that, and no, it took the second no. reference. Matthew yeah. was reading a New Yorker article at the no, time. No, to be fair, I was reading all of my spells to see how few of them can be cast on creatures that are undead. Uh, let's see if I might be able to work out some sort of environmental impact and blow up, g get some gas in the room so we can see the, the outline of the creature Ooh, in the I like paper. That. Well, I like that. Okay. Oh, Troy would never allow it. No, keep that? in mind. Where, where is he? Keep in mind, only Kreska can see Admiral Saravox floating at the ceiling of the room above. Uh, as Admiral Sarabox made a roll uh, to uh, not get drawn <laughs> into the reverse gra the yeah. gravity well. We're going to have a fight now. Oh, I forgot the well was there. Uh, I would not have gone there. Uh, <laughs> well, you said you said he was at the ceiling, didn't you? Does the gravity yeah, well have a 30-foot range? Or did no, you but I started at 10 feet in the air. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, no, specifically I just, for this reason. I, I was looking at this... Uh, stupid area here. All right, so I had to move. Um, do, 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 do. Saravox will be down uh, down near Seiyun. Uh, everyone, the Admiral, and I, 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 I use uh, technical space language to give uh, as roughly a rough estimate of the square that the Admiral's in that everyone would be able to direct oh themselves to. Dude, I'm imagining this like a horror movie, right? Like alien. Yeah. Like it's just in our intercom, and Seiyun just hears the captain be like, "Come over the intercom." He's right in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, Jesus Christ! Uh, all right, Frisk, do you want to take your turn? Yeah, Frisk will take. After hearing that over the comm unit, he's going to move up closer to where he's been told. The Admiral is, and he is going to, I guess, just fire with the syringe against full concealment, right? Yep, yep. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm going to rule it that you guys are a well-oiled machine. Kreska says, there's where you need to shoot. You shoot, you've already got the 50% miss chance. Okay. So. Uh, okay, that is a 31 against KAC. And then miss on the concealment. Miss. Yeah. On the concealment. So, the minute Friss shoots, Saravox turns <laughs> and looks down at Friss and then starts scanning the room. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> this is so fucking terrifying. Oh. Those beady little skeleton eyes. You haven't seen them, uh, seen them in a while here. Let's get another peek. Ah. Oh, he's so cool. The glowing green. And then looks around the room. Uh, it is PG's turn. PG will walk over the big monster she just killed, like the pool of acid. Just stand so she's 60 feet away from Dax and say, say to Dax, Dax, it's been an honor. You can kill you can kill him, and he can, he shall die. Give him hell, and she gives you an inspiring boost of twenty five stamina points. Yeah! Ooh, nice. Uh, hell yeah! Good buff. Good buff. Good buff. And then she goes. Then she motions to Callum like, "Stay back, still. Uh, <laughs> you're not ready. Stay, Callum. <laughs> Stay. You're, Stay. you're not ready. Yes, yeah. I am. <laughs> this is cracking. Doesn't mean I'm not slaps. ready. Uh, <laughs> 
Um, yeah, that's and that's my turn. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. It is Seiyun's turn. Seiyun, uh, Kreska pointed to a space up directly above you. Seiyun looks across at the captain and say, says, This may be untoward of me to say, I don't know. I've only been alive for a few hours. But give them hell, Captain. Reaches out, cast fly on Kreska. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Okay. Oh, and man. This is going to be amazing. crouching tiger, hidden dragon. So Yen is going to move <laughs> back towards the edge of the hologram, inching away from the spot that was called out. Okay. Okay. This is very interesting. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting development. Um... All right, so Sarah it's a very Vox interesting is, situation. Very interesting situation. Sarah Vox is looking around like, who did it? Which one of you assholes did it? Uh, and will throw down an explosive blast in the direction of Dax and Friss. Range touch, no natural one, natty 18. Give me a reflex save, Dax and Friss. Oh, come on! Come on. Um, Taking it. That's a 19. 16. Oh, my God. Oh. You will both take 96 fire damage, which is 37 points of fire Ooh. damage. Oh, right. thank you, PG. Points. Oh, no, Friss Doctor. is in to the HP. Just boom. Cerebox <laughs> rains down uh, and then uh, flies closer to Seiyan again. Uh, away from these cosmic eddies and gravity wells. And it is Callum's turn. Still all the uh, while looking. Who did it? Who Callum did it? Um, can't see uh, him yet. So Callum is just listening to Kreska trying to follow, sees Frisk fire, uh, and he's going to reach over and touch Kreska on the back um, and say, Captain, you're the only one who, who can see him right now. So, um, Good luck. And I'm casting Shifting Surge, so I can change your type of energy damage if you do an energy attack to something that would be better against Undead. Uh, And also, the next attack that hits deals additional 2d6 damage. Oh, wow. Great. Nice. Remind, keep me honest about that. Yeah, and then do you need, are you do, are you, do you do energy attacks? No. Not really, but the extra 2d6 was fun. Okay, cool. It, It only lasts for one round though, Matthew, so keep that in mind on your turn. Oh, uh, okay. And your turns oh. are coming because we're at the top of round eight, and it's Dax's turn. It's I, Dax. I on the communicator. I, I I give them the up. I update them as to where the admiral is. Oh, all right. So Dax just blah, takes this explosion, singeing through parts of his skin, and you can see the nodes underneath and the circuitry as he like looks back up and knows after such an explosion that the creature is probably uh, moved. Again, the Admiral. And so he is going to delay and wait for Kreska to pinpoint the location. He's already, uh, she's already pinpointed the location. It's a 50% mischief. Uh, yeah, but he moved. So. Since then, he's spoken are, for free. No, she, yeah. Oh, she just, every yeah, round, she's going to speak yeah. for free. Okay, great. If, uh, you, delay, hard if you do want to delay, though, Dax, <laughs> there might, something might happen that might make that smart course back. Then I'll do what I said and I'll delay to my captain. <laughs> captain. All right, Dax will delay and it goes to Where Kreska. is it? Ca- where is he, Captain? I uh, can't see him. Here are. We wait just a minute. And Kreska extends a finger towards the Admiral and will cast the spell magic. Oh. Oh. Okay, a targeted dispel. Yep. Amazing, because right. now you can target... And what, I believe uh, it's what kind DC of DC 24. Cap? Bottle cap. Bottle cap. Grant, DC, give me your bottle cap. Yeah, Dax, DC what happened 20? to your bottle cap, buddy? I I'm see one sitting right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, will anybody be giving him a bottle cap? Or are we doing one roll here yes. against DC 24? I'll give him the bottle cap. Nice, okay. Grant. Nice. And nice. I'll use mine this turn, and, and we'll shoot. So. All right, Grant, you're giving me the bottle cap, so I get 2d20. 2d20. Yeah, 2d20. DC 24. DC 20, what do you get? A plus 12? Yep. Oh, boy. Come on, buddy. Don't lie. Filthy liar. Don't lie. I rolled natural two and a 12. Yes! Oh, oh, I swear. Baby, oh. come on. Wow. Yeah. Oh. 
Why they moved. It? it moved. It moved. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not, the, not the green one. The green one was natural too. Oh, yeah. I, I see, see it. I do see it. I see it. All right. Okay. Um, oh, easy. Easy. Is visible to all. Ah. Phenomenal. Do you move at all, Kreska? Oh yes, I will. Kreska will take off flying, and will get into melee with. I can't. I can't fly here, right? That even up in the air. Does that go? Yeah, that no. Ex- that goes all the way to the ceiling. But you can f- move to the space next to it. Okay. Yeah, I'll fly, and then and Kreska will say, "Hello, Admiral. It's <laughs> nice to see you." <laughs> <laughs> Phenomenal. Okay, so can you please talk to me about this? Uh, this. Are you going now, Dax? Yeah. I'm just curious. Okay. Can you tell me about this grav well? Uh, yes, I can. So once can I no one move through it, or is it like if you just start your turn in there, you're subject to the pull, or end your I turn there? It's only if you start your turn in there, or unless you're there when the the spell takes effect. So if you just move through it, you should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> so Kreska comes down and lands and's like, "Hello, Admiral. How are you? Are we up in the air, or the Admiral? Yeah, you're are up like, in the air. You're flying. Okay, yeah. right. Heads on. Heads right below the ceiling." And in that moment, just flying up behind the Admiral is Dax with this spear. And as it has its its concentration on Kreska, he just (laughs) right through his back with a spear of fate, his own spear. Awesome. This is one attack because, oh no, it is not. I can full attack. Shit. Yeah. What to do, what to do. What to do, yeah. Uh, oh, this is a tough call here. Okay, I am going to full attack because I don't have to roll any concealment. And I will full attack. Yeah, I just moved and I'm hasted. So, yeah. Whoa, bam. And uh, get, well, I was, the getting's good. Yeah, I was thinking I was going to switch to ranged. But no, now that I can see him and everything's clear, I'm going to just bam. Come right up on him and attack. So, uh, I'm going to turn in my bottle cap for the first shot. For the first stab. Oh. Okay. And roll twice. Um, and take you want to turn batter. your bottle cap on your highest chance to hit, or is it all equal across the board? They're all the same. Yeah. Okay. They're all the same. I'm just really trying to avoid a fumble on the first one that screws up the entire rest of the swings. So, wham. Uh, first, question, David. First before stab. Hold on to that roll that you just did. Uh, David, The uh, was just the greater invisibility dispelled, or was that greater dispel or regular dispel? Regular dispel. Yeah, okay. so it would just be one one target, one spell. Okay, the reason I asked that is the Saravox also had cast Displacement on him, so it's still going to be a 50% mischance. Oh, brutal. Well, I mean, can we undo that? I have a I, hit here, and I'll undo the bottle cap, because, like, I would see if he has Displacement Sure, I know, I forgot to tell you that, because I forgot that it was on here. Um, but he has Displacement, um... Uh, yeah, I've got a natty 16 and a 9, and I, I've X got a hit, rounds. but I'll, if you let me undo it, I'll just undo the bottle cap and re-roll one swing. That's fine. Okay, uh, and then I will roll concealment with it. All right, so he comes up, and he's going to try to stab this dude. Uh, natural 4. Second attack. 48 on concealment. Damn it. Ugh. Oh, my and God. third attack. 25 on concealment. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you add, did you add, oh, on the one that you missed on, did you add your plus two from flanking? Um, the first one, I think you just roll low and yes, add. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I rolled too low to hit, yeah. Uh, even with plus two. And, uh, well, actually, I didn't say what it was, so, but it was, yeah, no, it would have cra- been, been an 18. It would have been 18 yeah. against EAC. Yeah. Most importantly is you were both threatening this admiral with melee weapons in a very tight space so i'm excited to see what happens next um yes yeah me too buddy yes i'm gonna need we're gonna need some uh d100 okay uh yeah no he's 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 ready for a fight here um yeah no kidding this is dope yeah, it's actually really, really well written encounter by uh, Owen Casey Stevens. Um, oh, Owen, Owen wrote this. Oh yeah, okay. nice job. <laughs> this encounter went, stinks. So. Of Owen Casey Stevens. <laughs> <laughs> so now you you know you've you've cornered uh, cornered them. Um, kind of makes it hard for your ranged buddies to hit. But let's see what Doctor Frisk can do. All right, so I I believe 
The way I read it, I'm, I'm going to try to do a basic booster, biohack booster on on Dax, but I I think I can deliver one per each attack that I get. If that's right, I have a limited number per day, but I, I can deliver one for each attack. I don't think I'm limited to one per round. So, I have three attacks with my injector pistol, which I automatically hit with on Dax, because he had attuned to him. So I'm going to deliver a separate... I'm going to do with three separate inhibitor or, or boosters on it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, and you're auto, those are automatic hits. You don't even yes, if you're all... I'm attuned to him with my with my 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 bio lab okay. already. So I am going to it's like <laughs> and you're hit by three syringes in the small of your back. Oh my god! And the first one gives you blind sense. Oh, awesome! The second one gives you blind fight. Awesome! And the third gives you a uh, plus ten to your movement. Nice. Mm. Amazing. That's wow. Awesome. So blind nice. fight's going to let you re-roll on a missed concealment. Blind yeah. sense will be great, uh, you know, just in general. And then Jeez, extra moves. Dr. Friss. Yeah. Uh, I like it. Okay. All right. So, so yeah, he feels this like in his back. He's just like, what? Friss is a traitor. <laughs> Turns around. <laughs> but then as he looks back at the he admiral, he sees the forms coalescing and getting tighter. <laughs> he just blinks like, zzz, zzz. I what has the doctor through. done to me? Yeah, these through. are like, these are like, like uh, bespoke nanites, like into your blood, so like attuned to you, like bend your blood system, your your, yes. your liquid system is like shh, allows you yeah, to do this. I stuff. like it. I don't so even know. Cool. I don't even care if it's a hundred percent by the rules or not. It's just cool. Uh, so let's move on to PG. Uh, okay, PG is uh, going to move down um, to the bottom. To the bottom of the of the map, and uh, god damn it, and uh, stand. She's gonna now be forty feet away from from no thirty feet away from feet from away, the yeah. from the man or uh, the day like actually non-binary, um, right. and um, I don't I I think I'm gonna try to attempt to do a get him, an improved get him. However, I have to shoot through Dex uh, slightly. I don't know. Do I get a clear shot, Troy? Well, you're shooting up, so I'm gonna say yeah. because where you let me see where you moved here. Can you move any closer? Yeah, I have haste, so I could move. Prob I could probably move all the way up here, honestly. Uh, if you get uh, to there, you can shoot. You're like shooting up uh, at his robe, at their robe. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna yeah. say no problem. Um, there's no like uh, shooting into melee penalties, right? No, no, no. Uh, all right, yeah, so all right, you got a clear shot. Um, yeah. So she's going uh, to uh, aim for their crotch and okay. go for with her uh, elite semi-auto pistol that she got from Dax, and she's going to say, "Finish him!" or her goddamn it, them Very finish sense. them, and uh, <laughs> and then ah, uh, uh, okay, we'll see. That's going to be a twenty-seven. That is against. a miss. <sighs> oh no! Oh well, I take this. that back. Motherfucker is ready to fight uh, and protect their bridge. It is Seiyun's turn. Seiyun is going to say, I'm sorry, Dax, as she rips a curtain of flame from the ceiling down directly on the creature, forcing it to take 10d6 points of damage, Ooh. and the flames are going to emanate outwards, blasting Dax right in the face, but he's only going to take 2d6 worth of damage. Okay, so you throw a flame down and any save, or it's just damage? Just damage. Okay, how much? 10d6, and I will tell you the amount now. Holy smoke. So it's like a pillar of fire? Yeah, it's just a wall. It's going the full length of the terminal, and you see Seiyun is just exhausted. She's used her last spell at this slot, and she's just, oh! Like J Jordan willing the bulls to a victory during the flu game or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and the flames deal... 38 points of damage to Sarah Oh, Box. nice. Oh. Okay. And Dax will take 10 points of fire damage himself. Okay. You can tell that not all of that goes through, uh, but a certain amount of it does. And the good thing about displacement, well, it's an AOE spell. So what I was going to say is displacement, even though it's a 50 percent mischance, you can still target a, a displaced creature. Uh, but in this case, it was AOE, so it didn't matter. So that fi fly fire goes up. Does the fire stay there? The fire is uh, concentration plus uh, my level, 
and I can decide, but it's, it's gonna stay there at least until the top of my next round. And on my round, I can decide either to concentrate and make sure. I'm actually gonna spend another uh, resolve point and make it auto uh, reach its maximum duration, but I can tell my spell cache to stop the concentration as a free action on my turn. So whenever I want, I can stop this flame right. wall from existing. And is that where that wall goes? Yes, full length. Okay, so it splits the room in half there, but does it go floor to ceiling or is there a space to go it's underneath from, it? It's from the ceiling 20 feet downwards. Instead of existing from the ground, I've pulled it down from the ceiling. Hmm. Pull it down. Oh, like, oh, that's great. Okay. Yeah, um, like a projector your, screen. It's a curtain. Nice. Yep. Uh, give me a roll against fatigue, uh, both Kreska and Seiyun. Kreska, okay. I forgot to do yours. Fortitude? Uh, yes. Yeah. 19? 23. You are you are fatigued, and Sayan, you are now immune. Kreska right. just can't beat that fatigue. <laughs> can't. I forgot to take it off since the last time I had it, so. <laughs> <laughs> it is Admiral Saravox's turn, and they are not pleased with this situation. <laughs> I wouldn't be. I can understand that. I mean, they're surrounded by... Give up, Six Admiral. Players. Yeah. Join us, actually. Join us. It would really help us if you would fly <laughs> your ship directly into the Stellar Degenerator at top <laughs> yeah. speed. Just wait until we get off. Yes, we, would, um, we, would, we would consider it a courtesy. Oh, boy. Um, we will allow you to die honorably. All right, so I, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fly away and eat the AOOs from Kreska and Dax. Yeah, you will. I mean, it's ambiguous though because you're in the wall. If the wall is opaque, as we were talking about earlier, if you can actually be hit in the Kreska direction or not. Yeah, it's the interesting thing about the wall. The wall is uh, 20 feet high. I'm trying to see if it says how thick it is. Like, I kind of put it I in don't those... Think it's really, I don't think it's relevant because it's just it's a mischance. It's the same mischance regardless. Uh, and you can't get more than a 50% mischance. Yeah, that's, yeah sure. that's fine. Yeah, I'm fine yeah, with dispersed. allowing it. You're going to take a 50%, and the only difference is, Joe, now you get to roll twice. If you right. roll, roll, if you roll again if you fail. I yeah. cracked die, but I missed on concealment. So. so I succeeded, and I got a 26, but against EAC? That is Ooh. a miss. Okay. Uh, so, Saravox is going to fly... Oh, man. Is it towards Callum or towards Friss? Well, I'll say you see uh, Saravox fly towards uh, the direction... Oh, no, I don't want to go near that eddy, so nope. I'm going near Callum. Uh, uh, so do you, do you pass through the wall again is the question because it would trigger no, the damage down, down, down like I'm basically going down through. and then okay. looping out towards uh, over there perfect and Saravox just looks at Kreska and if these faces could smile they would and uh, Saravox goes invisible again Oh, for God! I can still see. Can I can still them. see them. Yeah, Kreska and Dax can now both spot them. Yes. Yeah. So they are in that spot, uh, but they have uh, invisibility. So keep that in mind. Dax can sense Saravox. Kreska can see Saravox. None of the rest of you can. It is Callum's turn. Callum, give. Oh, you are immune to fatigue at this point. Only Kreska and Friss are the ones that are not. Um, wow. Chris is actually pretty safe over there with the eddies and that gravity well, but it does put uh, Callum and Seiyun uh, in a bad position. What do you do, Callum? Well, I was going to cast Prescience, and I wonder, I mean, I mean, the rules of the game dictate, I guess I can't because I can't see them, but they were literally just in front of me, and I was preparing to cast it on them, but I can't, correct? There's like no way. No, it's, yeah, it's so, brutal. It's brutal. Okay. So you, were, you were seconds away. You were like trying to, and then, but, but, but I go. All right, so I am going to, uh, again, Callum grits his teeth. He just fucking hates this thing. And he goes, I hate you. And he uh, casts mirror image on himself hmm. to protect himself. So let me roll a d4 and see how many images there are of me. Okay. 
That's going to be three. So there's three figment illusory images. And if you try to attack me, then we'll go from there if you hit my illusions or not. Your illusions. <laughs> Round nine. Captain K. Captain K, you can still see this uh, admiral. All right. Let's do another dispel magic. Um, oh, on the invisibility. Magic. Okay. I'm imagining this one's a regular invisibility because you didn't say greater. Uh, spoiler alert, it's greater. Yeah, all right. Uh, but that's so another again. fifth level spell burnt. Um, so, DC. Well, I've Four. got I've got a bottle cap, and I, I just don't know um, because even after you dispel it, it's still fifty percent mischance for all of us. I can dispel that too the next round, but if the, you guys can't like. Callum could target him, like could yeah. target them. It's much better to have to have them. I think it's worth it. Yeah. I don't, but I'll give it to you. I'll All give right. it to you. <laughs> you're giving you're me the bottle cap. Yeah. All right. Not gonna do Natty any damage to this guy. Natty seventeen on both of them. <gasps> nice. <Okay. laughs> All right. So you have dis uh, excuse me. You have dispelled greater invisibility. Uh, I'll do amazing. it Amazing too. Nice. And then uh, Kreska will swoop down the long way. And <gasps> interpose herself between the Admiral and Callum. Oh. It's good to see you again, Admiral. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's pretty good. Uh, it is Dax's turn. Uh, okay. So let's see. I'm doing some math in my head here. Uh, hey, David, does the same rules work for fly? It's like if you don't. That's oh, all good. All right. Uh, Dax is going to move up. Through the fire. You can go under the fire. Oh, yeah, I'll go under the fire. Forgot about that. So I'll go under the fire. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna... Mm, I'm flanking. Oh, uh, boy, this is tough. All right, uh, yeah, I'll try it one time. So he will swoop under and flank with Kreska. And I will deadly aim <gasps> and stab Ooh. once. I oh, love it. Um, Hell's heart. From I hell's heart, I stab at thee! Man. Come on! Natural five! <laughs> <laughs> that bottle cap, Matthew! <laughs> <laughs> well, I would have missed on concealment. Let's see if I miss on blind fight. 55, I would have made it. I would have no. made it! Roll if another I had a bottle 20. cap. I want to see. Uh, I would have gotten a 20. Uh, he's not going to tell us, but I would have gotten a 20. Sorry, this is getting hard. Uh, 29 against EAC. Oh, it might have done it. It might have done it. That would have hit Sayon. <laughs> out. Okay, it is uh, Dr. Friss's turn. So I'm kind of stuck here because of the gravity well, right? Uh, you can like, move through it. As long I as can. you don't start your as long as you don't start your turn in it, you're fine. Okay, then I. Chris is uh, he's gonna double move to get closer to the action. He's gonna get right up behind Sayun. Nice. Okay. Oh boy, gets we have right up behind, we right have under that shrunken wall of fame. battlefield from uh, what m you know, fifty by a hundred foot rectangle to a fifteen <laughs> by fifty foot sliver of the yes. of the map. Okay, oh man, this is, uh, David and I are chatting back and forth, it's like, it really does feel like a game of chess. Uh, that was Dr. Friss, it is PG's turn. Big round PG. for PG. Yeah, PG's going to move up, um, uh, and stand, uh, uh, underneath Callum, uh, six, uh, that's 55 feet, and, uh, shoot, again, attempting another get him. Whew. Okay. Uh, all right, here we go. Come on. Ooh, 96, uh, 30 against uh, CAC, Penetrate CAC. Nice. So you shot a 30 against CAC? Yep. Against Saravox? Yeah. Just missed. Oh, oh. no. Oh. With the get him, Ellie? Uh, with, with the, the get him, yeah. From your get him? Well, hmm. then 32. Oh, I can apply get him on, even yep, if I two. miss with my single attack. Like uh, the get him is the is the move action that gives everyone the bonus for the next turn of plus two, yourself included. So you should add plus two to that. But, but you moved. Exactly, I moved. That's why I was wondering. I thought 
I thought it was you have that uh, ability where as a standard action you can. Yeah, it get is an it's attack. an improved get him. Uh, but since okay, well, so if I can I can move and get myself a get him and take my action. Uh, but uh, that's that's why it's like a little wonky because usually it's a move action, but I moved. Uh, but it's an improved get him that makes it a standard as, action. Yeah. As a standard a- with improved get him, as a standard action, you can make a single attack against a target within sixty feet. You and your allies uh, within sixty feet gain the benefits of get him against the target. Okay, so all and right, so then thir- thirty-two, 32. against Kek. There you go. Give me a fifty uh, percent miss chance against displacement because that is a hit. Nice. Ooh, nice. Amazing. And now we all get that plus two. Uh, right. Fifty-five. 55, you just made it. Oh, oh yes! Give All me right. the damage. Uh, 3d6 plus 6, 20 points of damage. Not nice. piercing what kind of damage. damage is it? Piercing damage. Okay. You notice not all of it gets through, but you do <laughs> oh, this damage. Guy. This guy's been undamaged for weeks! Yeah. Um, but they are damaged now. And now they have, now everyone has plus 2 against their hitting, against this asshole. Okay, and what was that ability? Uh, get him. Yeah, but improved what did you do? Him. You shot. Uh, I did. Uh, my, I used my standard action. My improved get him. Uh, what kind of to, weapon was it? I'm curious. Oh, it's a. Uh, it was an elite. Uh, elite semi-automatic, semi-automatic pistol. So PG yeah. slides up there and just again fires up. Boom! Just hits the dude. Uh, yeah. And it is. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Seiyun's turn. Seiyun will look at the admiral and say, "This ends here." And will reach into her spell cache to recall another wall of fire, pulling it up from the ground, creating a full curtain on this side of the room, meaning that if he needs to leave, he has to go through a wall okay. of flames. Oh, okay, oh, where man. is this? Where is this going? It's just again? right underneath the current wall of flame, as you see on the map. There is no nice. more oh. ten foot gap. Oh, in so you're between. cutting off the room. Cutting off the room, and I'm going to make the flame damage point the same way towards where Dax was on the eastern side of the room, so none of my allies currently take damage from it. But if he tries to move through it, he will take 10d6 of points of damage. For a 10-foot gap, he would take 20d6 if he flew through two at the same time. (laughs) Wow. Wait, so is it 10 feet thick, or does it just go 5 feet thick all the way down? It's five feet thick all the way down. way down in the middle. The two walls cross. For yes, that's, what that's what I'm saying. Wow. Okay. All right. So you, uh, Saravok says, I'm not trapped in here with you. You're <laughs> trapped in here with me. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is Seon's turn. And now it is Saravok's turn. My God. This is it. I think we've done it. This is coming down to the old brass tacks here. What do I want to do? All right. I am, oh man. So if I I start casting a spell, you guys get attacks of opportunity. Yeah, we do. And if you hit, I lose the spell. Isn't it fun to be a caster in this this (laughs) system? The worst. Uh, actually, you know what? I am going to attempt to escape again and provoke from Kreska and Dax. Okay. You'll be so fine, I'm sure. Flanking and get him. Ooh, nice. Flanking, flanking and Chill. get him. Come on. Come on, Daxie. Come on. Uh, oh, come there, on. there I think we go. I got you. I might, I might have you. I have okay. him, and I missed on concealment. Rerolling the- concealment. No. Did you miss I'm again? Fucking, I'm so done. I am done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I just rolled a 15, and I re-rolled it, and I rolled a 15. Oh. <laughs> Was that on a D15? Oh. All right. I should have used the D100. Uh, I got a 52 on concealment and a 34 to hit. That is a hit. Ooh. Beautiful. What are you hitting with? Uh, my claws, my magical claws. Magical claws. Terrible roll on the damage, though. Uh, 26 points of damage. Nice. 26 points of damage. Okay. Uh, that will cut through DR. 
Now, let's see. All right, so I fly away. But I don't want to be near you guys when I do this. All right, so it's going to fly away. Still up in the air, so away from PG. Still. Can, can you go there, though? I thought you said... The oh, yeah, no, I'm sorry. I, I, I know right, what's I'm coming, go, by the way. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the north side of the room. You see it coming, Joe? Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> Let's make it fun. I'm gonna put another wall of oh, force no. up. Oh, no. I didn't see that coming, no. Oh, no. And block off Kreska, PG, <sighs> and Callum. Oh. Jesus. And it's floor to ceiling without any effort? Uh, um, David, you'll have to give me the four. Yeah, one, I'm one two. Yep. Uh, actually, no. If you do it, getting all of them because it there are ten foot squares, ten by ten foot squares. You're going to get twelve of those. To do that distance, you're only going to be able to go twenty feet tall. You're going to have to make that thing tighter, and maybe that. Yeah. How high do you have to get it? How high is the Well, how long can it be, do you think? Is it 80 feet? What was it? Uh, It's 30-foot ceilings. Yeah, 30-foot ceilings, so it can only be 40 feet wide then. Okay. Uh, All right, no, you're, uh, sorry, you're level 13, so it could be a little bit more than 40 feet wide. 5, 10, 15, 40, 45. 30, 35, 40. All right, so that's, we'll add five. Okay. And let's play a game here. Uh Uh-oh. Oh, Oh, this could actually be. Oh, my God. I think the easiest way is to just cut Callum off from you guys. Yeah. No. In a death box. I mean, you can you can do a horizontal one and use the wall of fire against us and cut us off at any point you want. Yeah, it's interesting. Could the wall of fire be used as an attach point? It seems like it would, but I don't know. Fire is like not that's... a not a matter type, right? It's it's plasma. It's energy. So. See, I can do that, but it's really still gonna be a funnel, right over here uh, to the. Yeah. So you can that still you can slide through. But you know what I'll do is I'll leave the funnel at the north side of the room and just cut off Callum in a almost death box. So Saravox takes an attack of opportunity from Kreska, Dasks mixes wildly again. Uh, they fly to the north corner of the room uh, near one of those doors uh, near the, the few remaining uh, zombies and uh, creates a wall of force that cuts off Callum from the rest of the group. The only way to get into that box of death is to go through the wall of flame and fly around the console into a tiny five foot space. It's such a villain move. And that's when you got to bring it out in the final combat. I'd also like to point out that your wall of force has bisected this zombie that's sitting here on the western wall. (laughs) Yeah, he just (laughs) slices in half. Uh, yeah, he's in bad shape. And it is Callum's turn. As soon as Seiyun sees this happening, she says, On me. Oh. 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 Wait a second. No, she doesn't. She does not. She looks so exhausted. She wanted to say it. She's Uh. out of fifth level spell. She could have dimension doored us all right through it, right on top of him. But she was too tired to say it. Oh. (laughs) She can only say five level five words per day. Um, uh, all right, Callum. Okay, so we have established, this is also out of game, but just like the AC of the Admiral is insanely high. It is yes. 30. Yeah. It is 30. Okay, so I can't hit or it. Or more for KAC. I can't possibly. hit it regardless. Um, cool. Callum is going to do a full disengage and run into the unexplored room at the top left corner, uh, the doorway that we haven't opened yet. (laughs) Oh my God, amazing. Gotta love. Full disengage. You've been playing 5e too much. Wait. (laughs) Emmanuel. I I have been. Wicked Empire has taken over my brain. Exactly. Uh, Nice plug. Wait, can I do a five, sorry. Can I do a guarded step back and then Oh wait! It's, a it's not. It's not in melee can, with Callum, right? You can move to it and you're open up the, the door. Air. Yeah. Yeah. You can oh, you're up so. in the air. Okay. Callum looks up, gives two middle fingers of his long, lanky hands, and goes, 
and then runs into the doorway. Well, now, <laughs> keep in mind, all you can do is move to it and open the door, so you still stay in this room if that no, changes right. what you want to do. Yeah, no, that sucks. Because you just do means that. like, here I am, dog. <laughs> it's not yeah, a. Yeah, but Callum, a lot can change in a round. That's not necessarily true. just going to be the two of you in there next round. That's true. Okay, you know what? I will, because maybe this will help. Maybe there's a really cool weapon in this room that we don't even know about. We definitely and know there's don't... not a boss in there. I'm yeah. saying okay, you so... don't know. Okay. Well, you run right, to the do door it. and you open it, and you see an elevator shaft leading down. Oh. Awesome. And Callum tells everybody, Hi, I'm stuck in here with the guy, I mean, with the with them, and also there's an elevator shaft. You shall get in here. You shall and get in here. You guys <laughs> hear Dax that? is like, get away from the elevator shaft. <laughs> what? You hear that crackle over the communicator, and we go to round 10, and it is Kreska's turn. Kreska, Callum, your charge is one-on-one -on -one with Admiral Saravox. Dax, do you have the movement to get around the wall? I do, Captain. Um, Zayon, do you have the ability to dispel the fire? I do, Captain. I'll hold. Kreska holds. Dax holds. Dax holds slash delays. Dr. Friss. Uh, Friss is going to turn his injection gun on himself. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's going to deliver two biohacks into his own neck. It's like, doom, doom. He's going to give himself blind sense and blind fight. Yes. So yep. smart. Yep. PG. Uh, PG sees the wall, starts banging at it, and is like, what? And then says, I'll hold. PG delays. He's, well. le he's letting them know. Admiral! <laughs> I'm delaying. Yeah. <laughs> Seiyun. I'll hold. Uh, Seiyun is going to dispel the lower wall of fire and will cast fly on Dr. Friss as well. Uh, nice. Phenomenal. I think uh, it's a standard to dispel, yeah. or is it so you can only do one of those things? I will free action... Tell my uh, cash concentrator to end maintaining the concentration on the higher level, and then we'll reach out and cast fly on Dr. Friss. That awesome. Uh, all right, and does that immediately go away, the wall, or does it linger? Well, that's a good question, David. I would leave. Dis well, yeah, dismissed. Well, I think it's dismissed. dismissed immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the spell is different than ending concentration, right? Do you have to let it linger? Like, a lot of them will be like, duration will be <laughs> concentration <laughs> plus X rounds. Ah, and if that's the case, it. It Oh, it's concentration plus 11 rounds. Yeah, so it's going to stick around for another 11 rounds. Ah, really? Because yeah. yeah. you didn't mm. dis... Yeah. Yeah. Also, I can't do it to either point. of them. But you can no, dispel you it. Can, you can oh, dispel it. I'll actively dispel, dispel the lower one as a standard and will uh, not cast fly on Dr. Friss, and that will be my turn. Can I okay. just say something? Uh, I'll move forward as well uh, to where PG is uh, as Ellie tells me her point. Yes, Ellie. Well, my point is that uh, for our audio listeners and I guess for the rest of the group here, I don't think you saw it, but Troy and David just had a weird little, weird little thing going uh, where they both smiled at each other and said, <laughs> or I mean, they, they mimed at each other of like, oh, yeah, that's right. Now it's interesting. And they did a thing with their pointies, pointy finger. Yeah, uh, actually, <laughs> that, that was just Grant following the rules, and we both were very happy about that. <laughs> but, it's I'm glad. I'm it's glad all... you really read into that, Ellie. There's, a, there's <laughs> also the realm where you all take 10 d6 worth of damage going out, and then back through the wall of fire. It's the other option. <laughs> that's, that's true. Oh. That's what a hero would do. Uh, all right, Fred's say it has. Yes. Uh, I'm going to cast dispel magic on Admiral Saravox to dispel this displacement. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You can't just uh, spell through the wall of force. You have to be on the other side. Yeah. I will move first then. Um, and I will get within 10 feet of the Admiral, but not within melee. And then I'll cast a spell magic. Okay. And so wait, you move around the console? I moved above the console. I wonder how high that console is, how close it gets to the upper edge of the firewall. It's a pretty big Fire console. The firewall is... I wouldn't. Oh, it's there's a. I don't imagine the console is ten feet tall. Considering there's no, a Matthew. window we have to look at. <laughs> <there>. Stop. <laughs> Would you stop? You're fine. Uh, okay. All right. So you get through and you cast displacement. That is going to be DC. Or you're trying to get rid of that. Uh, yep. That's going to be DC 
23, I believe. Right, David? Uh, It should still be 24 again, because it's just their caster level. Oh, it's just their caster level. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, 24. Uh, I'm just moving you in the initial order here. Natty 17. Nice, dude. Displacement is gone. Oh, huge. No longer invisible. No longer displacement. Uh, but the, the the terrain here is a little tricky. Uh, Dax, do you want to go? Yeah, Dax oh, will no. act, and he will whoa, swoop in and fly right up next to uh, the Admiral, passing by his captain, and will just with the Spear of Fate doing deadly aim. Right? Yeah. Provoking or no. staying five feet away? <laughs> just, yeah, yeah. Just staying five feet away and stabbing. Uh, oh, one stabbing. Stab. That's right. Okay. One stab. Here we go. Uh, a twenty-nine against EAC. Let's get him, dude. Get oh him. no. Oh. Thirty-one against EAC. Oh, that will do it. Oh, that will God. do it. Oh, drawing his stupid unblood blood. I love it. Valley. I've never rolled this many D8s in my life before. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure I can. Do you even have enough for this roll? Do I even have enough for this roll? <laughs> that is 40. Oh, no, it's more because of the John ski. I'm sorry, because of the deadly aim. Uh, that is. I'm really sorry about this. Deadly aim with a melee weapon? That works on both. 54 mm-hmm. points of damage. Oh, and what kind of damage nice. is it? Fire damage, ignoring five points of resistance. All right, so there is still some, not all of it goes through, but uh, most of it cuts through. Okay. Wow. Okay. Oh, can I reroll wow. my save against the, the fatigue? Yes, please. Keep Natural it. 20. Thank you. There goodness. it oh, is. Yes. Nice. Now we don't have to do that shit anymore. <laughs> Chris is the last one that needs to save on it, but as well, you know what? Now I can just show you where the aura is because you guys, uh, there's no more invisibility. Um, do, 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 do. I did a purple order. Aura. Ooh, it's a purple order. Isn't that fun? Very purple. Uh, mm. All right, so Dax, you went. Uh, PG, you had delayed as well. Do you want to go? Yeah. Um, uh, dispel magic, that meant like that the wall is gone? No, or the displacement effect on Admiral Starbox ah. is gone, so no more 50% mischance to hit. And okay. they're no longer invisible. Okay, uh, then I will just uh, move up. Uh, I'm uh, sorry, real sorry? quick, Ellie, while you're thinking about yeah. that, I just want to tell Troy, Troy, I miscalculated. It was actually 60 points of fire damage and so you're ignore five, five points. of. Oh, did I say 59? Okay. Yeah. It's actually 60. Okay. Um, um, PG will move move um, will move up and stand uh, right behind Kreska, uh, right under the fire, I guess, then. Um, okay, yeah, so you feel the, the heat <laughs> above your head. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and right. she will uh, shoot again. Try to get another get him, or it will get another get him. Then, if even if so, plus two on my attack and do the exact same thing I did before. Ooh, um, that's going to be uh, with get him thirty one. Thirty one against uh, CAC. CAC. That would be a hit, but Dax is providing cover there, so that will be a miss. Even on top of the console, shooting down. Uh, is Saravox flying or down? Saravox was flying. Flying. Yes. So from that angle, Dax is providing a, a little bit of cover, just plus two, but that's enough to okay. negate that hit. Uh, and now finally, it is Saravox's turn. <sighs> See what a difference a round can make here? Everyone's These rounds are moving. Side. They feel like they're moving faster than they normally do. Oh, they really yeah. are, yeah. Well, it took us 154 episodes, but we were finally got the pacing down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Saravox will take a guarded uh, step back in the air and do an explosive blast uh, in the direction of Dax, Kreska, and PG. There uh, it is. Just can't roll a nat one. Ooh, a nat three. That was a close one. Give me your reflex save, PG, Kreska, and Dax. We're getting into the big time now. Mm. Oh, no. 93. 24. Oh. Uh, PG? 19. Oh, Dax no. made it. Mm. But uh, Kreska and PG take 31 points of damage. Dax takes 15 points of fire damage. 
from the explosive uh, blast. Jessica uh, and PG, is anybody is anybody in the hit points? Yes, Not I yet. am. But just a couple, and I want to do something here. Oh, okay. Um, okay. On I your turn go- or right now? Right now is a reaction. Um, uh, so yeah, this thing explodes, and again, I told you part of his like face is coming off. Well, like a bigger chunk comes off by his neck where he's got this tattoo and just like rips his skin off and all this shit is visible and all of a sudden you start to see it goes and these things start repairing uh, the wound and I for the first time ever use repairing nanites nice Ah, when taking HP damage I can spend one resolve point to gain fast healing for one minute so uh, I have fast healing for one minute oh so now you and Saravox both have fast stealing. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, so have, now it, I he, have it too. I <laughs> Me too. I have it too. <laughs> Me too. Uh, okay. Uh, Callum to finish out the round. You've opened the door. You see an elevator going down, but all your friends, uh, most of your friends, have uh, made it around the bend here. Uh, okay. Is the elevator there or it's just the empty shaft? Uh, no, there is an elevator going down. Oh. Okay. Callum closes the door, turns around, sees Admiral Saravas directly behind him. <laughs> uh, and he just goes, Up in the ah. air. Oh, up in the air. Sorry, he looks up and he goes, ah. Um, Callum is going to cast uh, Confusion on Saravas. And you need to make a will save. Will save. Oh, it, David. Uh, is that you- mind affecting effect? Yes. <laughs> he ain't got no mind. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Callum goes, I would cast a spell on you, but you're too stupid to get to understand the spell because you don't have a brain. And then I'm going to run towards all my friends <laughs> in the very back corner of the room. Uh, and I'm going to throw my force disc at him. And he goes, so instead, I'm just going to do this. And he rips his force disc around as it materializes in his hands. Oh, wait, but I can't even hit you because your AC is so goddamn high. Well, this is... I'm Never mind, I don't cast that either. Uh, Cal pulls it back. He's like, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do uh, prescience. I stand in the corner and I concentrate on prescience. Okay. Uh, how about the top of round 11, Dr. Friss? Uh, Friss is, again, feels really useless here at the end of all things. <laughs> like, he's really... Even the... The boost that he was able to give to Dax, I don't think ever came into into play. No, he used it a couple of times. He did, and he true. failed. Yeah. He failed like well, I didn't one control time. That. Like at one you time, can't control worked, that. <laughs> yeah, Joe, you can't you can't you can't take it. Joe's dice rolling on. No, no, right no I know. <laughs> I knew immediately that it was the wrong target for me. To <laughs> um, come on, come on. <laughs> so it's like now he's just like he's cut off by the walls of the still remaining. Well, not the wall of fire, but with the wall of force, and he's. Way outside, so he's like Gimponaga, and he's like double move. Uh, he won't be able to do anything again this round, but he's going to get hopefully close enough to do something next round. All right, so run around to around. the northern part of the enclosure and get closer. Hops up on a console with another uh, dead zombie, and it is Seyun's turn. Seyun is the uh, the last one left over there. Yeah, Seyun will as a swift action uh, start up her uh, haste circuit. And we'll get around and then right behind PG. So we're kind of creating this real log jam right where the force wall ends. And you know what? Let's have fun. Let's go for a Hail Mary. I'm going to cast Control Undead, Command Undead on mm. Saravox. There is SR, so if you have uh, spell resistance, I'll have to do a roll against it. And then there is a will save. Okay, uh, okay. Are they immune? No, they're immune to anything that is a fortitude save, right, David? It's it's well, specifically command undead. Oh, so. that's right, I'm sorry. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm yeah, half yeah. paying attention. Uh, all right. Uh, I feel like command undead runs out. Like, at a certain CR, you can't use it anymore, but is that just Pathfinder? That's Pathfinder. Yeah, that's just Pathfinder. David, we're, what do you got? I'm, well, I'm reading it. I mean, I think you're thinking about doing a thing in particular, which I think you can do. It just won't it's have useless. any effect. Yeah. But it, but it just will bounce. Yeah. 
Right, right. Um, but I have to decide that before I roll the will save. Correct. Uh, so that's a that's a true gambler move. Uh, I mean, I've got a really high will. Uh, uh, and you have to roll spell resistance, right? Yep. If, uh, oh, oh, we don't even know if he has spell resistance. If he has it, I have to roll. Yeah, he doesn't. Um, wow. Wow. I don't see it here. I'm looking very quickly here, but uh, I'm trying to make it. A, By all means, uh, rush. Yeah. Uh, hang on, so, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I am actually going to take a chance on the will save because his will is okay. all his saves are extremely high. Uh, 27. Okay. That is a pass. And that is say Yun's turn. She tried. Okay. I, you I mean, tried. That, you got to hail mary. You got to throw yeah. that out I mean, there. I mean, I could I could have gone to hit and just do a little bit more damage, but I thought that was more interesting. Had it had more interesting potential outcome. Well, that's why I wanted to roll it instead of doing this other thing that I was going to do that would just take the fun out of it. Um, and so there was a chance. I just uh, he's got a very high will. Awesome. Okay, that was a little nerve wracking. So uh, you guys still a couple tricks in your old toolbox, Kreska? What do you got? Uh, Round Chris- eleven. Kreska right. is going to, uh, ju- she's just going to fly in, uh, oh. and I will incur to get, you know, if I have to, Ooh. I'll incur to get around them. Okay. So he's got this, uh, this, like, scepter with the skull on it. I joked, like, oh, that's his sword. So he, like, swats at you with that as you go by. Um, natural 20. Natural <laughs> oh, no. Fucking oh, 20. I've been sitting on. here and I said, I know oh, it's no. coming. I want to oh, do one God. nat 20 from my boss and I got it. Oh, oh no. Oh, All this right. is. What's the effect? This oh. is insane. It's got an effect, no. but I mean the damage. This is amazing. All right. Oh no. Oh no. All right. So you've got a roll against, is, against that critical. So the critical is severe wound. Yeah. And so, so is that going to be fortitude? Uh, it depends. So we need a d20 roll to see what kind of wound it is, and then that determines the save as oh, well as what could potentially happen. Okay, happening. I've got it up right now. Uh, I'll, t- I'll give you the damage in a second. Uh, it is uh, bleed one... Oh, no, severe wound. I rolled a seven, so that's bleed one d6. Yep. yep. It's not that great. Not that severe, actually. Yeah, it nope. Wow. wow. I'm like, I'm looking at the, I'm looking at this table. I could have lost an eye. Could have lost a limb. I could have Ooh. lost a vital organ. Severed limb could have been. Oh. Instead, you got cool. bleed one d six. Wow. Yeah. See, in case you ever think I'm fudging my rolls, would be way more cinematic to cut <laughs> off a limb. There. Uh, all right. So bleed one d six, and it's a fortitude save. Uh, it, there's no save on that that one. So that one just hits. I've got a DC on it. Uh, there's a DC, but when you look at the actual table, it's all the other ones ha- have either a reflex or fortitude. Oh, I see. Yeah, the, I rolled the shittiest one. Uh, yeah. All right, so you'll take one d six bleed <laughs> on your turn, but let's talk about the damage. I have to roll this online because it's it's just far too much. <laughs> it is my oh turn. My Should I take the bleed now? Well, let's take the damage from the critical hit first. Okay, um, that is going to be. I need a calculator. Uh oh. Tell you I, what have I, one. Need. I need a natural 20 for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one last time to ask this question in the penultimate potentially episode. Is it roll twice? Roll twice. Or double? Okay. Roll twice. Good. Um, all right. 63 points of electricity and fire damage. <sighs> okay. Are you, are you in yeah. HP? I am in my HP. Okay. I will do prevent wounds and uh, burn a resolve point and you will get... Uh, I have to do it 1d4 for every two levels I have, so let me just do that really quick. So 64. Mm-hmm. And this is a reaction when one of your allies is hit and takes yep. a certain amount of damage. Great. Oh, man, that could have been. Just cuts off your fucking tail. 16. <laughs> yeah. You get 16 points back. Not a ton. Not great rolls, but Amazing. that's great. Not nothing. Mm, that's I great. think that's great. Thank you, Callum. Thank you, Callum. When you're in hit okay. points, 16 is huge. And now uh, I shall yep. swing to hit you. And bleed claws. first. Bleed is top around round. 1d6. Uh, I'll bleed. take that bleed. You roll two points of bleed. And that doesn't matter. This is the middle of the round, David? Oh. Mm, you're right. It is worded as beginning, so I think Ooh. you would actually wait. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Until his That's next fair. turn. You can take it take next your time. Back. Take your two back. It's only two. I'll All right. Forever. Let's take a swing. Get him is still in effect, right? Yep. yep. All right. And I'm no longer fatigued. Out of the box. I bet it was. Crack die. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
Nah, it's gonna miss. Natty eight. Uh, <laughs> Twenty one yeah. against KAC. <laughs> Poop salad. This, this guy is tough, man. It is Dax's turn. It, it's really worth the price of admission. This fight. Uh, <laughs> My butt Before hurts. you take your turn, Dex. <laughs> my butt hurts. Uh, I just pissed my myself. Butt <laughs> <laughs> my butt hurts. I want to roll a natural 20. <laughs> Before you take your turn, Dex or Joe, um, um, may I please remind you that I have an automatic hit on my puke. Uh, so when you guys are congregating around her, it's hard for me to hit. But like, remember, I do. I can. I can deal a lot of damage if uh, you guys are not standing in my cone of puke. Is all I'm saying, but I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, I'm just putting it out there. I understand that. I just don't see any way that that can happen. Okay, Joe. No, like, like, <laughs> like where Kreska is, Kreska will be hit no matter what. I know, but that, that, I right? said it to Dax. So if you run over there, but then maybe Kreska can move out next time. And I was thinking of doing it, but uh, we'll see. Take your time. Have fun. It's the last episode. I can kill all three of you. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I want to see a way to make it happen. I just don't see a way. Um, I mean, you could hold and let, let PG go first. But then he's going to go before you go, and you're going to take the damage. If, P, if I hold for PG, uh, you're in the cone. No, I can, but I can move so Kreska doesn't take it, but it's hard for me to create a cone. So, like, it's, it's, yeah, I, can I mean, move. I can delay until you can go. If you can m- move up, but then I lose the get him, and his AC is so high. Um, uh, yeah. But if you move up there and want to do it, then I can go after that. Yeah, that, that is an option. Because if I move, if I move and stand next to the door that Callum opened, um, I can create a cone that doesn't hit uh, Kreska. But, but it's is a this, five. Is this? Well, but won't Sarah Box go before PG goes? Is that, is that what you're just saying, Joe? Uh, Sarah Box goes before you go, which is why I'm saying we can't wait a full round for you to move as well. Is that right. still true? I, we, I can we tell you right help. now, it goes. Uh, Dax, PG, Saravox. Oh, okay. Oh. So that's what yeah. I was thinking, just thinking. If I can okay. take my turn, then you can take your turn. If you think... All right, we'll just leave the flanking box open, because I need to get into the of flanking course. with of the course. captain. And All right, PG, now, then Dax will delay. You can go. Yeah, so PG's going to move up uh, and stand next to the door, the elevator shaft, uh, creating a cone towards uh, the, the magical wall. It's, okay. Uh, and uh, she's going to throw her acid at this asshole. Spit uh, up at Saravox, s- angling it in such a way that will not affect Kreska, and it's an automatic hit. You don't roll. I just roll a reflex save. Yes. So, okay. 35 points of damage. All uh, right. DC, reflex DC 21. save 29 on the reflex. Ah, so, well, 35 halved, and it has acid resistance. Mm. Um, so, that will be ah. four points of damage. Oh, That's why you were asking about the gate crasher. Four points no, of damage. Wait. All First told, course. not worth giving up uh, my plus two from Getem. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Now, now you know. know. We didn't now know. you know. That's part of the game. Yeah. Uh, you got to take those risks. And no, now but I Dex, did know. I did know that there was damage reduction, but I didn't Dex realize will it was. Go, and he moves right up into flanking position, and will Fly, attempt. Mind you. Flying, flying flanking. Oh, oh, and I am going to spend a swift action to turn off my haste circuit. Because mm. I'm now at three rounds left. I've never used so much in one combat. <laughs> and now I'm three rounds left, and I don't really need it right this minute. And I have no intention of full attacking this guy right now, because he's so impossible to hit. Um, but here we go. With uh, flanking. I really just need a natural one. Very that nice. would end things really... F- yes! Yes! That's 34 against EAC. That is a oh. hit. Oh, Thank he God. did it. He did it. Uh, I think, all right. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. You make me you feel a lot it. better now. Uh, <laughs> uh, that is 44 points of fire oh, damage. There you go. Reduces Ooh. resistance by five. Okay. Got that. Uh, That's your turn? Jesus. That is my turn, yes. All right. Saravox's turn. Saravox looks around at all of you and realizes where the battle has turned, sees his beautiful, uh, their beautiful bridge in complete and utter destruction. (laughs) Zombies twitching on the floor, flames everywhere, (laughs) walls of force. And he swings twice at Kreska. (gasps) No, he doesn't. Oh my God. He's so mean, Troy. He does not. Callum goes like this. 
stop! And as he does it, a force of just pure force magic flies. Oh. David? Uh, the rules lawyer also casts his hands out and says, stop, because you already <laughs> used your reaction on the prevent wounds uh, last round. It hasn't. No, oh. this isn't my reaction. This is prescience. Which uses your reaction. You have to I trigger believe. it as a reaction. Oh no! You know what's so I've been crazy? Concentrating on the spell. <laughs> you know when you use the reaction on Kreska, I didn't put this two and two together, but I said, I wonder, I wonder if Callum is going to need that reaction later. Wait, and did you he, lose pres- prescience? I lost. Do I just lose it as that reaction? Or does it for that stay round? charged? You have to concentrate on your turn to keep it up, but then uh, you trigger it as a reaction, but because you use... It's not your turn yet since you did the prevent wounds on Dax, right? On Kreska. 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 Sorry, Kreska, yeah. That's right, Uh, right, Troy? Yeah. All right. I'm so... So, so sorry. But, Dude, but this is I so think, I thought it was cool. two different things. This I thought is, it was like a reaction is one thing for that, and then a spell reaction that you've been concentrating on for an entire round is a different the, thing. The problem is, is the text of the spell specifically uses the, the you can do it as a reaction. And normally, you guys have your reactions, but you just, yep. in the attempt to try and save Kreska, I mean, you're just a kid. Yeah, you don't know any I'm better? Just a, I'm just a kid. Damn it. I'm just well, a kid. I my question in this fight. still, ha- my question still hasn't been answered. Is prescience yeah. gone? Did you uh, lose no. the spell because that that reaction does that break your concentration? No. on prescience. No. Okay, good. Then no. you're as long as you still spend, act. as long as you spend your standard on your turn to keep the concentration rolling is the thing. Yeah. So, and yeah. I don't use any reactions. Yes. You have to. Ho- yeah. So. You have to sit on your reaction. You still can use this three times on this target yeah. over the next three rounds on three different reactions. That's it's amazing. So That's you just awesome. try to go and you realize, ah, oh, it's not ready. It's not there. Captain Kreska, it's been an honor serving you. First attack. Uh, crack die. Uh, oh. Second attack. Oh, excuse me. First attack still. Uh, that is going to be 26 against CAC. Get out of here. Yeah! All right. Oh. Ah! Oh. From captain to captain. All right. Second attack. Natural one. Yes! Oh, no! oh come on, Nash. Come on, Nash. Come on, Nash. That was crazy of me to to want to assume those both both would have been natural twenties. In my mind, I'm like, can you imagine? No, a miss and a fucking natural one. <laughs> come on, Nash. Come on, please. Anything that lowers AC. Anything that lowers AC. Or Let's just kills it. Or just kills it. Yeah, or just, yeah, self-death. Instant self-death. <laughs> uh, Adam from Plymouth, Minnesota. Oh. Uh, this one is called Tuning Fork. Your attack connects with a solid object, making your arms vibrate like a tuning fork. You are off target for 1d4 rounds. Okay. Oof, that Minus is a two very attack. reasonable fumble. Oof, Minus two to attack for off target, right? Yep. Uh, yeah, Agreed. minus two to attack. All right, so that'll be important, uh, especially on uh, AOOs. Okay, that is real crappy. So it, it hits Callum. the console right there, and it's like <laughs> sparks. Gives him a, gives him a shot, makes him a little zipped up off target. You Callum, I'm assuming Admiral. <laughs> you want to continue using your standard to concentrate. Yeah, he's gonna get uh, directly in line of sight with uh, the admiral. I just hate this. this thing and he just looks a, looks them dead in the eyes and continues the concentration. Great. Um, let's move to the top of round 12. Is this the round? Is mm. this your card? It is Dr. Friss's <laughs> turn. Okay, Friss finally back up into the combat. Finally in a position where he can fire a shot at anything that's threatening his team. Tumbles up past Sayun at the top of the edge of the console. So I have to do the fatigue roll, right? Yes, now yes. you'll have to do the fatigue roll, right? When you step past uh, onto Seon Square. Okay, fortitude? Yes. Um, yep. That is, ooh, uh, that is a 23. You passed. You are okay. not fatigued. Not no back. one is fatigued. Okay. So Friss levels his zoologist injector pistol at the Admiral. He is going to use another biohack on it, on it. This is going to be a very tough shot. It's a trick attack against its flat-footed AC. Crack die. Miss. 
Atlantis. All right. It is Seiyun's turn. Seiyun sees all of these things almost take down this admiral and knows that she must do her best in this moment to try and end it. So Seiyun is going to empower a single shot at the admiral with her final third level spell, granting it plus three to hit, and if it does hit, an additional 3d6 worth of damage. You see the spell leave Seiyun's hands and enter into the ARPG that she fires. This awesome long arm. Here it comes. That is going to be... A 32 to hit? Against? Uh, the AGRPR, I believe, hits against uh, Kinetic AC. That is a hit. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Wow, that is incredible, dude. That is um, incredible. Huge. Oh, I rolled a d20 for my damage. That was stupid. It's fine. Um, That's fine by us, Grant. <laughs> uh, there are uh, high-level Starfinder spells that do use d20s as damage. I remember from reading the core rulebook of this like a dummy. <laughs> Three ones on the additional damage. Oh, oh, no. That is oh, just God. a curse. This Saravok is meant to live forever. <laughs> Um, that is going to be 26 points of thundering uh, damage for the purposes of damage reduction. So Sonic. Correct. That'll be 16 points of Oh, damage. man. Resist wow. 10. Everything wow. ever created in the universe. <laughs> wow. It is Captain K's turn. Captain K, you are mano a mano with your old buddy Dax. You met on Absalom Station. You've been thick as thieves ever since. He's your ride or die. What are you going to do? Bleed. Dax. That's what you're going to do. Bleed. First, you're going to bleed. Oh, yeah. I'll bleed. You're going to take five points of bleed. That's funny. That's funny because I get fast healing one. But that is actually fast healing on the, the force field. The force field, but it's going to, you know, purposes of. Flip, flop, floop. All right. Dax, let's end this. And Kreska Bye, is going to. No, so no get him, but flanking, right? Yep. No get him, but flanking. All right, but flanking. He's going to take a single attack uh, just for the AC boost. <laughs> Captain, did you say butt flanking? I did say butt flanking. <laughs> Good butt it's flanking. that maneuver we talked about where you <laughs> butt flank. Say no more, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the cannonball special. Uh, I think I rolled a miss. 25 to hit. Get out of here with that poop. Uh, great. All right. It is PG's turn. PG, you are standing just underneath Saravox, surrounded yep. by Kreska and Dax. What do you do? Uh, PG is going to take out one of her smaller grenades that's created. There's water in it. It's liquid in it, so it's holy water grenade two. And she's going to hold it, cook the grenade, and then throw it up in the air. Hell yes. Uh, nice. Because this is the only way for me to make any any damage. Um, Maybe okay. take and a guarded step back. I think. He's flying. Uh, it's holy water, no, it's a full, so it's it a full action. It's a whole water, holy water. Yeah, he's grenade. flying. Anyways, you guys are all flying. And it's, exactly. And I'm a and I'm a holy and I. It's a full action, so I can't take a move action. Yeah. Sorry, oh, right, right, right. I'm sorry. No, no, no. That's. Uh, I, I was just thinking of the AOO. I forgot that you're on the ground. All right. So you uh, throw it up, uh, and you're just targeting grid intersection on the ceiling near uh, yeah. Saravox. It won't affect your friends because it only affects undead, right? You get a little bath. Just don't roll a natural one. Uh, right. Yeah. Um, nope, not a natural one, and that's going to be 17 points of damage if you, uh, unless you pass the reflex 20. Uh, 22 on the reflex save. Ah, Low. crap. Well, okay, so you take uh, eight, points. Eight. eight points of damage. But that is um, holy damage, right? So or whatever the yeah. equivalent is. So that's all going to get through. Yeah. Guys are doing some work here on this guy. It's bludgeoning really bludgeoning damage, going... actually. Bludgeoning, oh, bludgeoning. damage. Okay. Yeah. So then three points of damage get through. Ugh. Three what? points of damage get through. <laughs> uh, also, how is water bludgeoning damage? What? What? Okay. Well, it's it's... hard water. <laughs> uh, must be well water. Um, <laughs> Dax. I All think right. there's a possibility. You could do it here, but you'd really? have to be oh, man. perfect. I'd have to have a plus two from Getem. 
Oh, damn well, it, that, that would help. That would certainly help. All right. A nat natural 20, 20 and it Somebody wouldn't nat matter. Somebody nat 20s. I mean, that's how you end a book. Natural 20 and it wouldn't matter. That's how you end a campaign. Yep. Mm-hmm. Come on, you beautiful bastard. Come on. Dax, Come on, Joe. I love you, buddy. The captain says, ooh, wait a minute. I forgot something last time that I'm going to remember this time. He says, finish it. And Dax says, I, Captain. And then something within his cerebral cortex. Is like, and uh, perhaps it's the repairing nanites, as by the way, he's now at full hit points from the last two rounds of repairing nanites. He then uh, grips this weapon and something is communicating with this ancient spear of fates and he unlocks an ability that's within it that he didn't even know. And as he holds to aim his action, he uses a move action to boost the weapon. So it's like, and it charges up and he stabs. Uh, so if he hits, it's another 1d10 damage on top <sighs> of uh, whatever damage it does. One attack? One attack. So Let's move go. action for that. Uh, deadly aim, flanking with the captain. Come on, Dax. Come on, Dax, out of the box. Come on, Daxie. Natural 18. Oh, yes. 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 Okay. Okay. All right, and, an, and a D10, okay. This is, oh baby, come on, come on. <laughs> oh baby. I rolled eight, 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 oh. seven. Oh! And then one, one on the D10 and the oh other my D8. God. But still, that is amazing damage. All right, break uh, it up is, for me. Break it up? Uh, it, it's all good. Uh, oh, the boosted damage I think is just uh, um, Probably additional the same type, fire. Right? It's. It's increased damage listed. Um, it's probably all fire damage. Yeah, it's just the same yeah. damage as the weapon. Okay. Uh, it's just a weapon property. Uh, and uh, sorry, I just lost track. So, uh, um, uh, uh, okay, so it's 55 points of fire <laughs> damage reduced by five, uh, the resistance. Is it really 55 points of fire damage? Yeah. Reduced uh, by five, because uh, they have resist fire 10. Okay? Okay. So that would be only 49 points of damage. 50. 50. Uh, 50. 50. Oh, because 55. I'm sorry. You yeah. said 50 points of damage? Yeah. That makes all the difference in the world, as Admiral Saravox had 49 hit points <laughs> left. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Beautiful, dude. Oh, 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 dude, if I forgot the boost, even the one point on the D10 mattered. Without that boost, wow. I don't get it. Oh, the weapon, the ancient weapon. Oh. And Cerebox no one dies. Hit and falls slowly <laughs> from the ceiling, landing on the floor. Captain Kreska and Dax look down. Friss, Seyun, Callum, and PG look on. You now have control of the bridge. And we will see you next week for the <gasps> final <laughs> episode of Androids and Aliens. What are we doing with this ship? Oh, 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 man. Oh, man. oh, my God. 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 I just want to say, oh Callum God. just cast Prescience right at the end to make him hit the ground harder. And he uses his spell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Do not miss next week, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be one for the record books. <sighs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Hell yeah, Dax. <laughs>